everybody, Invisible Katana here with week eight of Ye Old Quarantine. Um, it is also Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and soon to be mothers and mothers and grandmothers, all that good stuff. Um, not much has happened. As usual, I, I edited a video. That was the day. Um, also, much like most other days, I bought stuff I didn't really need, but in my personal defense, it was sold out, so then I was like, I have to go find it on eBay. So eBay's been getting a lot of traffic lately. But not my fault. Uh, random. I'm on Twitter. Did my editing. I actually went through a video. I'll kind of say I went through like a video and a half because I technically started the second video. So the Deadly Tower of Monsters. So It was so nice to edit a video and not have a trillion issues. The audio synced up. It was amazing. Like the camera audio, as very low as it is, it's really weird to hear the camera audio when it doesn't have the microphone attached. Because I'll listen to it, I'm like, it's so low, it doesn't pick up anything. It was really odd to me. But it synced up with this microphone, which I mentioned before, I have detached now for the gaming videos. And it synced up with the actual gaming footage. Because I always have, the way I have it set up, I'll use the TV, so I'll do something really loud on the TV. I just turn the TV all the way up, and I try to do it as fast as possible, considering I'm in an apartment complex. But I turned the volume up as fast as I could, or as much as I could, uh, which was to the max. I turned it all the way up. I don't know why I said it that way, like as much as I could. I did it as fast as I could. Got my sound effects. Typically, Resident Evil 3 is the big thing. When you go down, it's classic horror noise. It's just a brrrr, and it just sounds really loud. So I do that like two or three times, and then I'll, I'll look at the... Well, when I was using my Blue Yeti, I would look at the waveforms to make sure, but now I just have to kind of trust it and hope that it's loud enough. So I did that, synced it up in PowerDirector, and the audio synced up perfectly. And I was like, this is crazy. All three of them, which happens from time to time. Sometimes it's this really weird thing, which I guess technically was more from Audacity, now that I think about it. For whatever reason, even though it would be loud, I'm like, I can see the waveforms on here. Sometimes when it would go into the program, suddenly it wasn't loud enough. It didn't make any sense to me because I'm like, this thing is super loud. It's louder than anything else, except for like the actual game footage, I guess. But it would always be weird. It, for some reason, it would have issues syncing up or um, maybe, you know, the video and the microphone would sync up because it's a lot easier. And then for some reason, the game audio, like the beginning, you know, portion, it just wouldn't sync up. And then I would just have to do it uh, using the video and just how it looks visually because of the flashes of light and stuff, which isn't the most difficult thing ever because you still use sound. Like I still go like, okay, this is how long it sounded when I recorded it, you know, off the microphone. This is how long it lasts in this part of the video because you do the same thing on repeat. So I have to make sure I actually sync it up to like the first one and not the third one or something like that. But put all the clips in, synced up right away. I was super happy about that. Still had to deal with my little pauses here and there. Um, fortunately for this one, I didn't have to do a ton of editing because I was actually talking a lot throughout it. And it was, um, it, it was a really silly game in itself, which I mentioned before. It's a great game. I do highly recommend it. And it was super simple. I was like, okay, have my couple edits. I still had to watch through the video to make sure like, all right, do I want to cut something? Which, you know, I had my couple of cuts where it was like, I was confused on one part. I didn't know where to go. So I was like, you know, I had my parts where I definitely did cut it. But for the most part, I was going through, it was pretty simple. And I was just so happy that it wasn't a million things. It was just like, the audio sounds good. The audio does not drift, which I don't know if I'll ever be able to fix that with Audacity. I might have to get a separate program. I might not even bother because at this point, now that I know that the audio sounds good when I you know, detach this microphone from the camera, I might just stick with that. I have my crappy setup where I have to put it on like one of my little stands and like clip, <laughs> you know, clip the uh, microphone to it and like twist it and stuff and make sure it's good and have my zoom set up, make sure the zoom is, you know, in a good position so I don't like bump something and then it falls off and rips the microphone out or, you know, crazy stuff like that. So it's a new setup. It's weird. It adds even more stuff in because I have to use like a second tray to hold stuff depending on what the positioning is going to be. So it's changed, you know, like technically one less wire since I'm not using the microphone, but it's still like a bunch of extra stuff and I'm like, all right, do I pull this down, make sure it's not on camera. So it's become a new thing, but as long as it works, that's all that matters. So I got that video up, um, uploaded it, you know, edit, upload. So that was really good. I was happy that it was just like, all right, smooth sailing. Still got my pauses, still got to go through the whole process of, am I going to use PowerDirector? Am I going to upgrade? Does that make a difference? Because I would love to stick with the program that I know because the free stuff that I have is not cutting it. Um, Filmora was the one that downloaded and then DaVinci was the other one. I think I mentioned DaVinci, but Filmora was the first one. That doesn't even have audio sync. I was like, this thing doesn't have audio sync. I don't even want to be <laughs> like, it was very, it was very posh, but I was like, this thing doesn't even have audio sync. I don't want to use this program. 
So then DaVinci does have audio sync. The problem is it does not ever seem to sync up the audio the way that I want it to. So, and it's also very confusing. Like it's a new program. So every time you go to a new program, it always looks different. Like the way the timelines are set up, I'm just like, I don't know what to freaking click based on the way this looks because you're so used to the last thing you, you were using. So I still have to test it out. I'm still gonna mess with that because I do think it's technically what I should be going towards. So I am gonna test it out and kind of mess around with that probably with my next Let's Discuss video since it'll be a bit of an easier edit. Um, I'll probably do it that way, but I definitely have to figure out the whole audio syncing thing because it'll match some stuff up. Like it matched up the microphone in the camera video, but it didn't match up the video with um, the video game audio, which I thought was interesting because Power Director was able to do it and I literally did not change it. I didn't like once it did it, it did it perfectly and I like checked to make sure of course and it was 100% synced up and I was like, okay, so the audio is loud enough but it depends on the program because I synced all the footage up at one time, got everything perfect in Power Director and then when I tried to do it in DaVinci, I could get the microphone and the camera set up um, just, you know, by the waveforms automatic with audio sync, but it could not do it for the game. And I was like, okay, extra, you know, that's basically like the normal power director issue. So I was like, all right, it's not that big of a deal, but it is interesting that one program could do it and like sync it up because it captures that, you know, that opening little clip and it does it perfectly. But then the other program is just like, yeah, we can't find anything that sounds even remotely close. So you don't get, you know, the audio sync. Like I said, kind of used to that happening as far as the game audio not syncing up with the rest but it was just interesting that power director could pull it off and then this other one couldn't so i'm like ha ah, it's just another thing that makes me really want to stick with power director but i can't stand those freezes <laughs> it drives me insane uh and it's funny i was talking to someone else about that and she was talking about editing and i told her you know like man i've been having all these issues i might need to find a program and she asked me and i was like power director and she was like oh i use that too and it's been bugging her as well although she uses the um the phone app version is what she told me so i was like i don't know the differences of course but either way we're both being annoyed by that but everything worked out so i was glad about that got that done i did the thumbnail for the second video but i was done editing i was like i'll just edit the rest tomorrow if it was faster i'd go through more than one video in a day but it just drives me insane so I don't know, until I get to a better rhythm or once I figure out the DaVinci stuff and I like really get into that and it's like, cool, it didn't take me a million years just to edit like this one thing because I wasn't waiting probably a total of 10 minutes for an hour long video counting all the pauses. It, it really does probably take about 10 minutes extra just to do it and you feel it. It is probably more than 10 minutes in all honesty because it's every time I do a cut, which I didn't have to do too much this time, which is why I think I kind of flew through it, even though I was going back and forth like trying to test out everything with DaVinci. Um, I think that was a big part of it. It was just like, I didn't have to cut that much. So I was able to just kind of like click through the video, like, okay, I'm talking here, talking there, and you know, skip, skip, skip. So it was a lot easier than it normally is, but got that done, bought some things on eBay. Um, and to go back to like the very first thing I was about to talk about, a little tweet came across my path as I was doing my edits and, you know, uploading to Twitter and everything. And it was about I am 8-bit, which is, you know, the current purveyor of a lot of my nerdy records. So someone tweeted at them like, hey, thanks for the uh, like the sold out tags because a big thing about their website is that they never say when something is sold out. Like you just click on a picture like, oh, that looks great. The Bates Motel, you know, soundtrack for a show that ended like four years ago. That, you know, that vinyl album is completely sold out. It's been sold out forever. I don't know why they even keep the pictures on stuff. So it's weird to me that they bother to put like the sold out pictures because um, to the best of my knowledge, they've never done a reprint of any of their albums because I would love it if they threw out, you know, the, um, the Steven Universe volume one record, but they haven't done that. And obviously that volume one record came out once again, years ago. So I don't know why they keep stuff on there anyway, once it's sold out, cause I've never seen them do a reprint of anything, but either way. They have all the stuff on there still. They just put sold out tags on top of it, which is a new thing. And even they say like, it's been a long time coming because that's the big complaint that a lot of people have. Like, hey, if you happen to be new to the site or if you're scrolling through, or even if you're not new, if you just happen to be going in to get something that you just hadn't picked up yet, you click on it like, cool, I'm about to get it. And then you that's how you find out it's sold out is like you literally like click on the picture like, cool, let's get oh, it sold out. So that's how it always went. So now they have the sold out tabs. And I was like, oh, cool. Just because it was there, it was in my head, I was like, why don't I just go? I'll just go to am8bit.com. Just look at the vinyl, see if anything new popped up that I hadn't seen already. I already follow them on Twitter and I have like the email stuff. So I was like, 
I'm sure there's nothing new, but I scroll through just to look at stuff and be like, oh, sold out, sold out, okay. And as I was scrolling down, I got to um, Uncharted 4, and I saw that little black banner, and it was like, sold out. And I was like, oh, that's not good for me, because I always wanted to get that. I think I mentioned that when I got the Uncharted Collection vinyl set, I was like, I've always wanted the vinyl. It was pretty much like the first thing that ever got me into video game vinyl was finding that stuff on IM8 Bit. It was always, I have to get the Uncharted vinyl because I love the games. And I, I like the music. I'll be honest, it's mostly just because I love the games. It's the same for the Resident Evil stuff. Although the save music, the save music is just utterly phenomenal you know, for, for pretty much every Resident Evil game. So that's those mu that, that music slash those songs, I was trying to say it. Um, all that stuff I actually love, so... You know, it, it was kind of like in that element, but Uncharted was the one that really kicked that off. Finding out that there's video game vinyl, finding I am 8-bit. Once again, that was also through Twitter, if I'm not mistaken, just a random post. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And that's how I got into it. It took me like two years to finally get a record player and actually start, you know, buying vinyl. But it was always I am 8-bit that kind of had that in my head anyway. So finally come across this thing, you know, saying that it sold out. And I was like, I have to get this thing now. Like, now's the time to search. So, because that happened, eBay, once again, found it, bought it, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm fairly okay with the person I bought it from. I was going to buy it from a different place. Um, There's a place called, like, Get Import CDs on eBay. They have, like, this really weird track record where they have a bunch of positive, but I always, I always do the same thing. I don't go with, like, how much negative they have. I always go based on the time. Because if it's, like, in the past 12 months, it was... 150 negative even if you have like a million positive and stuff like that i always go by the most recent stuff so they had a lot within the past month and it would be like you know it would say like it always says what you know you're buying of course or with other people bought so it'll say cd it'll say vinyl and it'll be like you know this came scratched this came messed up or this was cracked they said it was the you know like the variant blue edition but they just gave me regular black vinyl no contact all this other stuff and i was like okay went to google and just put the name in like are they good? Found a random site. People were not happy. It was like, do not ever buy from them. Eventually, you know, you'll get screwed over and stuff. And I was just like, I can't risk it. It was, I think it was like 10 bucks less too. It was like 10, maybe a little bit more. It, it, you know, it was in the range. I don't think it was like even 24 bucks, but it was still like enough of a difference to be like, well, you know, I'll at least see. But I was just like, I can't, I can't trust it. And that was exactly the same place that I'd seen before when I was looking at records. And I was like, oh, that looks nice. None of their records and it's because they have a real website too and that's the thing that's where i was like ah, i kind of want to do it because they do have a legit spot but there's so, it's weird that you could have what seems to be so much legitimacy but you have so many bad records and a lot like i said once i go to like the most recent and you have a bunch if you can put a bunch within like the past month that worries me so eventually i was just like i can't do it i can't risk especially with it being sold out i cannot risk buying uncharted 4 on vinyl and then I get scammed or it's damaged and then, you know, I can't find it for anywhere close to the price that I paid. So I ended up going uh, with someone else who had like a legit picture, even though it wasn't the one of the actual album. It just felt a little bit better. At least it wasn't like e literally everything on the Get Import CDs. No offense to these people. I feel like I'm slightly bashing them and I didn't even actually <laughs> buy from them. I'm just saying I had my fears, so I stepped away. But all of their images, it's always the same thing. It's literally just a picture of the the cover and that's it like it's one picture it's not like a front and back it's not like the actual material it's just like here's a picture that's what it would be and then that's it and that always worries me no matter what it ever is whether it's cds figures video games if there's literally one picture and it's like the google stock image where it's that thing and the white background i'm always weary of that i'm always like huh so you're selling this thing you have it especially when it's clearly an individual when it comes to like them I was like, okay, I kind of see it from a business perspective that you wouldn't have an individual picture of every single thing. So it did make a lot of sense. And they're probably legit in some ways. There are, of course, a ton of people who, you know, had the records fine. Hopefully the people that did already pay for them, they get the cheaper records and it's fine. I just didn't feel like risking it because the thing's already sold out. So I was like, I'll pay the extra bit of money from someone else who didn't have anything. Or I think they had like one in the past month that was negative. And I was like... I'm just going to go with that. I'll pay the extra money for, you know, for that security. Sometimes that stuff is worth it. It's just like the same, you know, with all the crazy GoPro stuff where I was like, do I want to get the cheap screen protectors off of Amazon or do I want to go with GoPro? So it's, it's that sort of balance, even though everything's just that person, you know, when it comes to eBay, 
unless it specifically says like it's a seller or stuff like that but ended up paying a little bit of extra so that should be in next week or in two it, who knows? it'll be in at some point i hope and then i did end up buying uncharted lost legacy vinyl uh that fortunately was still on sale from ima bit so i got it from them um but yeah I, I ended up getting more records because i was like oh crap those were like the ones that literally got me into it was the uncharted stuff being like hmm, i love uncharted i'd love to get that on vinyl so i was like i have to do it. i i can't excuse me i can't not have my full collection like it's i already got one two and three i have to get four and then i have to have lost legacy who knows if they'll make some more uncharted games i'll get those two um i'll pretty much have to now like I, I pretty much settled into it same with resident evil if lace records comes out with like vinyl for resident evil 5 and 6 and 7 and then well you couldn't really do much of a vinyl for the remake of 2 and 3 they don't actually have any real they have like a couple of songs and they're only you know they're of course the updated versions but they don't really have that much music it's mostly like a silent game like they have the save theme music and then like the end game songs but they don't really have music in 2. I think they probably have more in the remake of 3 than they did in 2. Because 2 was almost like dead silent. Like I don't think I even noticed music in that game. After like the first save room. I think it's, it, I feel like it's almost dead silent. Maybe in cutscenes and stuff. You know that's the point of good music is it's in the background. But I feel like Resident Evil 2 is pretty much dead silent. So I doubt they'll come out with records for those two. But who knows. We'll see what happens. But that's Sunday. That is Mother's Day. Edit buy things um oh this came in i forgot i was supposed to talk about this yeah that's the sync thing i did from the last vlog it landed lasted for six whole minutes and that was it but uh this came in this was the uh the thing i mentioned in the last vlog where i was like i got two gopro things or i was like i got a gopro thing and then another thing but they're both gopro things so this is the turns pro yeah so that is turns pro uh, i looked them up it is basically for um it's for time lapse time lapse stuff so pop my little gopro on here um, I could technically put this camera on there as well because fortunately, uh, for anyone who's interested, I have the Sony a6300. Tiny little deal. It fits on everything. Like all the little limit stuff, it's always underneath it. So I can technically put that on there as long as I don't do it sideways, which I don't think I'll ever do that. But technically, I could still do it sideways um, if I have the GoPro on it because it's not heavy enough. But my, my mirrorless is too heavy. But I got that in today. Um, I forgot that we have deliveries on Sundays now that, that kind of caught me off guard. Like I was going through my email and, um, I think I went on Amazon cause I was looking at something else too. And so I happened to track it. And then I saw that there was a picture. I was like, it, and it said like deliver it, uh, Sunday. And I was like, oh crap, it's already outside. Uh, it wasn't from like my normal, you know, cause it's Sunday. So it wasn't from like, um, my mailman or anything. So there wasn't a knock on the door. And it was just like out by, it wasn't even actually in front of the door. So when I saw the picture, I was like, oh crap. And I had to like get up and get my shoes on. And I was like, I was in the middle of editing. I was like, okay, time to take a break. So I went out and grabbed it and it was like sitting underneath the uh, the big thing where like everyone's mailbox is. So picked it up, cleaned it off. Of course, uh, the package is technically still like right by the door. But I was like, cool, I got that. I still have to get batteries for it because it takes like four AA batteries. So it probably won't be getting much use too soon um but i'm excited to use it i'll probably have to i'll either get some batteries if i remember the next time i go shopping or if i'm just like losing my mind which i doubt i will i'll just get some off ebay i'll just buy like a giant pack of double a batteries which i could probably use anyway because i need some for my zoom recorder i'll technically need some for my cable remote even though i forget to record everything anyway i almost shouldn't even have cable so i don't know i might need to call them about that because all i watch is cw the only thing i'm recording that matters is honestly supernatural as soon as supernatural is gone i'm going to figure something out because i'm like all i need is the internet because the only stuff i watch is cw and you can watch everything you know online it's nice to have it recorded but i've had so many issues with my freaking cable box where i'll record something and then it just won't play it i literally had an episode of uh legends of tomorrow had the episode recorded played it once i played it once and it worked like it started the episode and i was like oh you know what it was probably like it was too late or I just wanted to do something else. And I was like, I'll just watch it tomorrow. So I turned it off. Didn't like unplug the box or anything crazy. I just paused it. I turned it off. And then I unplugged it afterwards. Not that it should matter anyway. Like the thing's already recorded. It shouldn't matter if I unplug it randomly or anything. Next day I turn it on. It won't play. It's just a blank screen. Like it has like all of it's recorded. Everything. It just doesn't play. I'm like, it's not like it didn't play. It played yesterday and then it stopped playing. And then I've had other times where it just didn't play at all. So... 
the cable box has annoyed me on several occasions anyway when I do remember to record stuff because, you know, once again, it being Sunday, Batwoman and Supergirl came on today. I totally forgot because I forgot the shows have actually been coming back on, which I don't know if I even talked about that. I'm pretty sure I did. But, you know, CW has brought a lot of their shows back. I remember now because I talked about not really being excited at all for the Flash season finale, which is really sad. Um, but yeah, I forget to turn it on anyway because I'm like, oh yeah, stuff is actually new now, which feels so weird because everything's been off for so long. So it's like, oh, new shows. So I have to remember to actually record stuff, which I never do. I never freaking do. So it's almost sitting there as a waste. But I think technically it's still less expensive. But I need it anyway for Supernatural because <laughs> I want to do those. At the very least, I want to do my reviews like the day of. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's my weird thing with cable right now. But so far, it's Sunday. Fansville. I'll talk about that tomorrow. Maybe. I'll probably forget because I'll be in a different spot. So I probably won't remember. But I'll just leave that mystery there. And uh, hopefully I'll talk about it later. But who knows? But either way. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey everybody, welcome to Fansville. So, I figured I'd start off with this. Why I have, why do I have two, I technically have three of these things. Why do I have three giant foam hands for Dr. Pepper? That's my Dr. Pepper ham. Um, because of dumb things. It is technically Wednesday today, by the way. Uh, I'm doing this late. It's like midnight. Probably be careful with that, with some of the little knickknacks I got around here. But anyway, Fansville stuff. So of course, my little metal thing that I had yesterday the foam hands, the shirt. I even have this little drawstring bag here. And uh, I even have, um, have some cozies. And then I think the last thing were aprons. I got aprons. They're just, they're like that. They're just burgundy. They're still wrapped up because I don't need an apron. I don't cook. Plus I have one from uh, Loot Crate that is Los Pueblos Hermanos from Breaking Bad. So why do I have all this dumb stuff? It's actually because of work. So because of my job, what I do is, or I have like, that do everything type of job like i'm building i'm in facilities so my main thing i would say like my number one task is food and inventory stock so it's like oh we're running low on milk we're running low on peanut varieties we're running low on snacks food this and that that's what i do so one of the things that we get for pop is of course dr pepper because it's amazing and it took a minute to get it in there but everybody was happy and then it became a real challenge for me to not drink pop because i'm fine because we only had like a few we had like ginger ale but it was like seagram's which is okay um and then we have coke and i think everything else is diet i think you know diet coke coke zero and we had diet dr pepper but we didn't have regular dr pepper for a while and then once we got dr pepper i was like finally something for me to drink i i'm fine with coke i know people love coke it's like the number one pop i don't care for it much i'm like it's okay uh cherry coke phenomenal vanilla all the flavors better than the original um but anyway we're running low on dr pepper of course me being the one that kind of marks like oh we need this we need that i see all the different boxes so whenever anything has something going on it's like okay well you get three qualifying things of this like three 12 packs of dr pepper or doc you know diet dr pepper or whatever any variety even you can you know take a picture of the receipt and you can get free stuff so the first thing i did was this shirt i like this dr pepper shirt shirt so we needed three or i needed three technically so i was like well we need three <laughs> we got three got the little receipt folded it up like here you go three things kroger yes so they sent it to me it took a long time because everybody wanted this shirt it was on back order it took me like it probably took like a month and a half uh, from picking the shirt before actually getting it. But I was happy when it happened because I was like, I really want the shark shirt. They had a million shirts. Like, it's crazy how many shirts Dr. Pepper has. Like, it's weird. Like, if you go on the Dr. Pepper website, you can buy all the products, of course. They have like five pages worth of shirts. It's probably less than that. I'm probably exaggerating. But I remember there being like a ton of shirts. I was like, I cannot believe Dr. Pepper has this many like shirt designs on sale. I would assume they were for sale because otherwise it would be weird to have like you know, 15 designs just for when you do the free thing to have people pick them out. So I'm sure you can buy them if you want to. But I was like, okay, want my Dr. Pepper shark shirt. I like sharks. So it's cool. So eventually I got the shirt and then probably like a year later, it was like way later. It could have been within the same year, but I think it was about a year later. Um, so last year it was like, all right, you can get yourself a Dr. Pepper, you know, Fansville package. So it is pretty much everything I showed off. So it is the, the metal signs, the cozies, the drawstring backpack, as well as the apron. So I was like, sure, same thing. You just need three. So I did that. 
got my stuff in. They also had one for uh, Lil Sweet where you can get a t-shirt of him. And I think the only reason I didn't get that is because of doing it on my phone. So it kept registering. I think that because technically that, that's why I have like three of the foam hands is because I got like three of those packages. <laughs> so I have like three drawstring bags. I have three of the um, the hands. I only have two aprons because my mom wanted an apron. So I was like, sure. My friends didn't want to take the random stuff because like who wants a drawstring, you know, Dr. Pepper backpack. I actually wanted the foam hands, So I kept those. For, I just wanted them. So I kept those for myself. And then the metal poster. I took one out and the other is somewhere in here. But they're all over the place. I don't even know where the cozies are because I don't use cozies at all. So they're probably just sitting on my counter because I just don't use cozies. Like I, I've, I've never used them in my life. So they just sit somewhere. But I think because I did it on my phone, I couldn't end up getting one of the shirts. Like I put it in for the shirt, but I think it just registered all my points towards the Fansville package. So sadly, I did not end up with a, a little sweet uh, t-shirt and I just have like a bunch of these. But I'm fine with that. I like having multiple foam hands and other pointless things. That's why I buy all my nerd stuff. It's just stuff to have. Uh, but that I got for free. So I wanted to start off with that because that's pretty much all there is to talk about. Tuesday was nothing, or Monday, because it's currently Tuesday. I think I said it was Wednesday, but it's currently, it's technically Tuesday. Um, but Monday was nothing. Nothing happened at all. Like, I honestly just relaxed today, and it was really nice. I finished Hunters. Uh, great show. I highly recommend that. And then I ended up watching all of season two of The Hollow, which is a Netflix original series. I also recommend that. Uh, one is a lot more mature. Hunters is definitely for adults and The Hollow is an animated show. Uh, it's mostly for kids. It's like, you know, seven or eight, you know, whatever they do. It's like, you know, young you know, adolescents or whatever. But it's a really good show. They talk about death and stuff. So that's why it's kind of like it's for kids, but it's one of those more serious ones where it's like, what is or is not happening in the show? So definitely enjoyed that. Couldn't believe I flew through season two, but it is, you know, it's 30 minute episodes. I didn't realize I had so much time in the day because it's only midnight and I flew through an entire season after watching um, all of Hunter. So I actually got up pretty early. I think I got up at like 10 a.m. today and that was all I did. I got up. I, you know, went to the bathroom, found out the water was technically turned off, but it was still coming out. So fortunately, I was able to wash my hands when I first woke up. As soon as I turned it on, though, I was like, I need to check my email. And of course, it was like, hey. We had to cut off the water and we'll let you guys know when, which I don't think they did, but the water was back on. They didn't send out another email like they said they would, but you know, you turn on the faucet and it's like, oh, you know, it's coming out normally. So it was fine. Um, so I mostly just sat around like I was like, all right, well, I have to wait to take a shower. So I pretty much started the show and then I was like, all right, well, I'll shower now. And then I just went back to finishing the show because I kind of got wrapped up in it because Hunters is a really good show. Looking forward to season two. I'm sure they'll get one. Um, so that was fun. And then, like I said, uh, season two of The Hollow, definitely a great show. So I really enjoyed that as well. I don't know if that would get a season three. The way they ended it, it could. Um, but it'll be interesting to see, like, where they go. Based on what they did, uh, it's pretty much like each season is a mystery. Like, you just have to figure out, like, what's happening. I can't really talk about season two without spoiling season one. So I'll just say, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's a really good show. It's a really crazy mystery. And it starts off with just three kids wake up, no memories, they have no idea what's going on, and then they find out they have superpowers. And it's just like, where are we, and how did we get here, why do we have powers? And they don't even know who they are, they just kind of have to figure things out as they go. Really good show, really crazy mystery, and then season two kind of picks up from there, and it's like, huh, okay, so I, I kind of know the mystery from season one, so now what's happening? So it, it was pretty interesting, and they had a surprising twist. I was surprised with the way it turned out, and so I'm really curious what they're going to do going forward with the show because they can go like one path but they could also do some converging of things which like I said I can't get into specifics because I'd be spoiling it but I recommend it I think it's a really good show and if you got kids and you want to keep them occupied it's a good mystery show might find some stuff that's like slightly creepy I can't remember much from season one um I know the first episode has like some crazy pseudo demon dogs in it so if your kids are like really scary you know, maybe not the show for them, but I don't think it's that, you know, really that creepy. It's more just a cool mystery show, but I really loved the first season. really enjoyed the second one, flew through it. And as I was doing that, because I was like, all right, clearly I'm not editing today. Like <laughs> I barely have my computer on at all today. So I was like, all right, I'm just watching the show. I'm just sitting around. Uh, I did some cleaning the other day. Don't know if I even mentioned that in either yesterday or in the last vlog, I guess technically the day before yesterday, um, but did some cleaning before. So things are kind of nice and they're better it's not that great but it's better and so since i was sitting around i had the space and i was like all right i'm just you know kind of sitting here watching tv decided to finally 
grab my uh, my little my gimbal here and set it all up and do some tests with it and stuff like that. It's interesting. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to watch a lot of YouTube videos to make sure that I don't screw this thing up because I was like kind of messing around with it and I had it on and stuff. Obviously it's off and it's you know kind of locked in place here, but I had it on and I was like, okay, moving it around with the camera on it. Um, and I was, I was doing some stuff and so I had the app open and it's like, okay, um, you know, this is kind of what's happening. You can adjust speed and you can set, uh, you have like three different settings where you can be like, all right, it will specifically do this or it'll just do that or it'll just do this because you get three. But with those three things, you can also change the speed at which the motors move so they can move around a lot faster. I was like, okay, well, let's test this out a little bit. And I was, you know, kind of just tapping it because it's, you know, it's just on my phone. So it was just touch and it was like, boom, just touch to the center because it was at like nine. So I was like, oh, let's just touch right to 25 or whatever. I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. What if I just touch here? And then everything went red and the thing started shaking. I was like, oh no, 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 no. And I had to like turn it off really fast because I was freaking. I was like, please don't break this as soon as you get it. But it was like shaking. Everything on the app was like red, red, red. The motors are moving too fast. It was shaking like it was having a seizure. And I was like, no. And I just like hit the power button until it shut off. So every time I moved it and I, I was making sure to look on the app. So like every time I moved it the wrong way, a little yellow um, exclamation point would pop up and I was like, okay, off. And then I would just shut the motors down. So they weren't like in a weird position or moving way too fast. Cause it was genuinely like when I like, put it pretty much up to the max. And I was like, well, let's see what happens. And I think that was before I put the camera on too. So it was, I'm pretty sure it was like by itself. I think I just kind of, I don't think it's really supposed to go that fast, like at all. It's just technically an option. Um, but yeah, that was interesting. Maybe the camera was on it. So maybe that's what it was. The camera was on it and it just, it can't move that fast with the camera on it. Um, and the camera fits for anyone who knows about the Ronin's the running gimbals, they all have like a weight limit. I have a Sony a6300. So it's literally, um, when I was going through like all the tutorial videos, that was literally the camera that they had as an example. Cause it was like, you know, if you have this camera, you're going to need this extra little riser plate. Cause your camera is technically so small. It has to have like a little boost to be in the right position. So I was like, okay, def. I already knew this of course, before I looked it up, but I was like, all right, the fact that they use the specific camera that I have in the example means I should be safe here. So I just can't do too many crazy things with it. Um, I'm definitely going to test it out probably tomorrow um, with the GoPro, which I've opened all the boxes. I haven't done anything with it. Um, I like just turned it on before doing this. I was like, all right, I should probably do this. So I like put the battery in. I turned it on. Um, as soon as I turned it on, I was like, great. Because uh, I touched the front and it was just like all blurry, like when you have like a really oily fingerprint, it was that. And I was just like, ah, I gotta find all my, I have to find like my closet. I have a bunch of them, which actually that might be one right there. So I have to wipe the camera down. I have to wipe this one down too. Cause I technically was touching all over. I was literally just like this, like my thumb was just all over it when I was trying to like slide it into the gimbal. And I'm like, what am I doing? Cause I don't know where my lens cap is. So that's a thing. Um, I should probably buy one, but typically not doing a lot i'm kind of especially now i'm just kind of in here so typically it's just on a tripod it's, it's kind of safe um but i just have my finger like all over it i was like i need i need to freaking get my my lens cap i don't know what happens that's like the one thing all my camera stuff my lens caps are like the one thing that i can't seem to take care of the one on my last camera my dslr that one just broke that was kind of just natural so like the little part where it squeezes in and you can like release it to put it on one of the inside pieces broke so it doesn't like stretch back out when you put it on the lens cap so it, it's just loose so it'll fall and this one i just don't know i lost one of them uh the one that probably came with this specific lens i think i lost because i'm pretty sure i had a lens for this one my other lens and then of course my macro lens has its own thing as well because it was by itself and i don't know what happened i just it, it like poof because uh, i'm using the camera so much i just never put the lens cap back on especially now because i always just have the camera up so it's never in the bag anymore and it's like, I get to a certain point and then the thing just disappears. Like I probably flipped the bag at one point and it fell out and I just didn't notice cause I always just walk around with the camera loose. Very dumb. Um, but once again, I'm not really doing like the craziest stuff ever. So it, it's kind of like, it works for me cause I know I'm not doing like the craziest thing. I'm not like going out in the forest and like having to worry about dirt and dust and rocks. I'm kind of just doing this. Or if I am doing something, it's typically like just a really generic event. It's not like something special like out in the forest or anything. It's just like, oh, a wedding or just some pictures. So that's what I think happens. And uh, I just lose lens caps. That's, that's like my thing. But that's pretty much all that happened yesterday. Mess with the gimbal, turn on the GoPro for the first time. And yeah, it's been about a week. I think I got it technically last Monday or Tuesday. 
So it's probably been a week at this point. So got to do that, kind of mess around with it. Definitely wipe the lens off, put the protectors on it, charge both the batteries because the battery that came with it, my precious baby blue, uh, I think it was at like 7%. So I was like, all right, fortunately, have my double charger. So I'll charge both the batteries right now and just, you know, kind of mess with that. And I, I probably won't do that tonight. I'll probably wait until tomorrow where it's like, really bright and like natural sunlight and just beaming in and I'll be like, okay, put my lens protectors on, do this, do that. So that's probably what tomorrow's gonna be. And of course I will be editing my other episode. I could have done it today just to have it up for tomorrow, but I was just like, mm, I just wanna relax. So that's all I did. I just enjoyed a cool story, two cool stories, technically finishing out, you know, an entire season of a show. So I just enjoyed some cool stories today and just sat around and just relaxed. And that was pretty much my day. So nothing really crazy. Uh, we'll see what happens later today, I guess, aside from probably testing out the gimbal with the GoPro and figuring that out and kind of, you know, just messing around with that and editing. Probably not going to be too much to it because that's typically all it is. Edit and now kind of officially get into the GoPro stuff. I don't know when I'm going to read Scott Pilgrim. I want it to be this week. I still also need to do those Supernatural videos, which I was supposed to do over a month ago. I was like, we're going to do this and then... That just never happened. So I, I definitely want to get into that. I don't know if that'll be this week. I would love for that to be the case, but I'll just have to pick and choose. So we'll see what happens. But um, that was Monday. Yeah. So I will see you guys later on today and let you know how the rest of Tuesday went once I wake up. Welcome, everybody. It is, of course, later on Tuesday. It is also very late on Tuesday because it's like 1130 right now. Um, the day was interesting. I actually hung out with the family. I went to my dad's and I was pretty much just there for most of the day. I woke up at like noon or something like that i didn't mention this before because it wasn't really on my radar and i don't actually care but we had the blue angels they flew over the city today uh that was pretty cool i mean i guess it was cool i didn't see him i was asleep um which was funny when i first woke up i was like oh man is that the blue angels and it was just like a big tractor was out so I, I guess they're doing construction but i was like oh crap those might be jets and then i looked outside i was like oh it's just a thing and then i saw what time it was i was like i missed them i was like oh well i was gonna i was thinking of getting some pictures but it was just like eh, i missed them i don't I, whatever so that was how the day started and then i got up and i pretty much just got dressed i exercised like a tiny 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 bit exercise showered um took out the trash stuff like that i opened up all my boxes for my gopro stuff last night so all my little accessories it took me a million years to figure out that stupid roll cage and i realized because i took the, the little lens out and i realized i kept trying to fit it in the wrong way because the way it looked i thought it went in one way and then i finally thought let me just flip it and then it fit right in i was like wow i spent like 30 minutes on that I was dumb. I wasn't even high. It was just dumb. I was just like, I this looks like how it's supposed to go in. It like just visually, it makes more sense that it goes in this way. And then I flipped it and I was like, it doesn't make more sense. I was wrong. So I was messing with that <clears throat> last night. And that's pretty much it. Um, I was just up late, kind of opening all the boxes. So I tossed all that stuff out, tossed out like the Amazon package I had for my little uh, time lapse thing. So I took all that stuff out. Then I went to my dad's and I hung out there for a minute, um, took the dog for a walk. We Walked down to the park, we walked down to the water. He's very excitable, so I, I know he was, he probably would have jumped in the water if I let him, but I was like, I don't want to deal with the white dog today. So I was like, please don't. I'm like, Roscoe, I'm like, let's, like, no, just stay in the little thing. So he walked around, he seemed really excited. I don't know why, like, he seemed, I don't know, I guess he was hearing or smelling a bunch of stuff, because when we were walking, you know, it was just normal. He would stop every, you know, little bit here and there on the grass. But when we got down there, it seemed like he was like jumping and turning and it was just be like, whoa, something just happened. Like a bunch of stuff was catching him. So we did that. Then we walked back up. We went down. My dad kind of came down the road on his bike and I was just going to take him back to the house. And then it was like, OK, well, he didn't want him like peeing and pooping on the lawn because they're doing, you know, fertilizing it. So I was like, all right, he didn't pee or poop before we went down you know, to the park. So I was like, screw it. Let's just go for a while. You know, it's been a minute since I've been over there, of course. So like, screw it. Let's, you know, let's keep walking. So we walked out. Uh, we left the complex and like walked all the way down. Eventually he did poop and just, you know, just walked him all the way back. And then I just sat outside with my dad for a minute. We just kind of sat in the sun talking about the crazy things in life and whatnot. Um, I had an actual meal, which was pretty cool. I had a piece of salmon, I had a baked potato, and I even had some salad. And I was like, wow, a real meal. So that was good. I had that. Uh, sadly, what I didn't have today, it being Tuesday, was Buffalo Wild Wings because I forgot they closed at 10 and now I'm just here annoyed because I really wanted hot wings today. Like that, I was thinking about that yesterday. And I was like, I really want to get some Buffalo Wild Wings. So, you know, sadly, you know, I had a cool meal, but family schmamly, buy one, get one for $10. That's a heck of a deal, limited time offer. 
So forgot about that. I was doing my editing, of course. You know, I, I left at like seven or so. I was there for quite a while, actually. Left at about seven, came back. I was like, all right, I recently ate, so I'm not hungry like right now. Because I was thinking like, I should probably just go and get the wings now. Like just order them before I go home, go pick them up and then just have them. And I was like, I'd rather have the wings warm. Not thinking, now that I really think about this as I say it out loud, I reheat those things all the time. Even when I go pick them up, they're never warm enough. I could leave knowing what time I'm going to get there. By the time I get back, I'm like, I need to warm these up. It happens, like, it's literally every time. Like, I always have to warm them up because it's like a 12 minute drive, you know, coming back. So they cool down just enough for me to be like, they could be hotter, you know, you know, heat wise, temperature wise, of course. So I wasn't thinking of that, but I was like, all right, I'll just get them a little bit later. I should go back. I need to edit. Did my editing, which is why I'm in my bedroom right now because it's rendering. So still a late upload is going to be like three days. I was thinking of that too. I was like, maybe I'll switch to every three days instead of every or every two days. I guess. However you would say that uh, instead of every other day, it'd be every other two days. So I might switch to that for the channel. I'm not 100 percent sure. I may or may not do that just because I've been falling behind lately. And I was like, I could just make that the normal schedule and that would kind of help me especially going back to work that might be easier because I don't want to switch to once a week. So I'm, you know, I got to figure some stuff out because eventually I'm going to go to work and I couldn't, I couldn't possibly do every other day anyway. Um, well, I guess technically I could, but everything would be like, I, I would basically spend all my time editing. Like as soon as I got home, all I would do was edit because I don't have my laptop, which has been like the crux of all last year where I was like, I wish I had my laptop. Uh, you know, I, I need one to edit with because I'm like, when I'm at work and I have like my free time I'm on break or whatever, all I think of is like, I wish I just had my laptop still. And all I would do is just, I would be able to edit at work and it would help so much. Sadly, I don't have that at the very least. You know, I still have my, my desktop that my buddy made for me. So at least I, I can actually edit and go on the internet and stuff. So I have something, but it's just like, man, I wish I had a laptop so I could just keep transferring my files back and forth and just edit on the go, which you know, like I said, for now, that's fine. But once I get back to work and I have my free moments, which I suspect I'll have a ton when I first go back to work, because we're probably still going to keep an extra couple of weeks and it's going to mostly be work from home for people. So probably would be useful. And I'll be up there super bored, might start playing the switch a lot more. But that was pretty much today. So I'm here now, just like, man, I really wanted some hot wings. And I refuse theoretically, I mean, we'll see what happens Thursday, but I currently am saying I refuse to, I refuse to subject myself to the lackluster saucing that is their boneless wings. As I've mentioned like a month ago, it pisses me off because it happens all the freaking time. And I'm just like, I, I want hot wings. I really do. And I would love to get some on Thursday. I would love to get a bunch of boneless wings. It would be great. I would genuinely love that because I love hot wings. I love spicy things. All I have right now is hot sauce and jalapenos. Very delicious on their own, for sure. But I, I want some hot wings. Like, I just really want some hot wings. So I probably I might end up doing it Thursday just because it's driving me nuts. I really wanted that today. And I wish I didn't forget that they closed at 10. So, and I looked at like, it was like 9.50 or 9.58 or something. I was like, <sighs> cool. So, of course, that didn't end up happening. But I probably could have technically done it. But I'm not a douchebag. Some people will do that. And I think... Some places, like, you technically have to serve the person. It's like when someone comes in at, like, 9.58 into a clothing store and the store closes at 10. Technically, the stores do have to let you in. I remember that happening when I used to work at Hollister. It was like, technically, we have to let people in. They're just douchebags for doing that because you're not going to be in there like, I want that thing, and, you know, you're in and out. That that never happens for the person that comes in. That never happens. Just be Like, how often does it happen when someone goes into a store like, I came for this, done. It, it's super rare, so... I wasn't going to do that to people. I'd be like, cook these wings and, you know, add your spit because that's totally what would have happened. Um, so I was just like, ah, I lost out. So sadly, no wings for me tonight. Um, fortunately, the video was edited. It was not too bad. Didn't take forever to edit. Decent. You know, it was the same as the last one. It was just, I was like, all right, I'm talking, I'm talking. Spaces, check this, check that. Still dealt with the freezing. But it was a simple video to edit, so I'm very happy with that. I just realized, like, one of my hands is free and one of my hands is, like, in the thing. I was like, something feels weird. It's because my, my thumb was, like, inside the thing. Like, it just it just drags on there, so you can really feel it. It feels weird. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much been the day. I, I spent time with the family. Um, oh, I also got some amazing juice because um, they had, at my dad's house, they had this freaking, uh, it was organic strawberry lemonade. 
organic because it, it even on the back it says it's 18 percent juice i don't know what that means but that doesn't sound organic um but it was so good it's from costco it is organic uh strawberry lemonade and they had some in the garage and they're like go ahead and take one i was like i definitely will because i love strawberry lemonade and it's it's close to organic that's for sure because it's definitely sour like i drank and i was like holy crap this is genuinely like sour like a lemon and sweet like a strawberry. I thought it was gonna be, you know, classic strawberry lemonade is not really sour, it's more like, it's kinda tart, but for the most part, it's still just really sweet. And I was like, no, this is sour and sweet. It's like a Sour Patch Kid, but better. So I took a jug, I, I only took a few gulps, but that's gonna be my new juice for, uh, as a replacement for the white cran peach, cause I, I drank it all. So I'm probably gonna get myself as my special substitute treat for my hot wings, I'm gonna go totally different and just have some frozen fruit and i'm gonna put a bunch of that strawberry lemonade in there and it is gonna be amazing so that's all i have for tonight because i i don't have any snacks all i have are cliff bars for snacks i wish i was telling my friend this i was like i don't know what's wrong with me but i every time i shop i keep going out like okay i can't get this i don't need that i don't need this sugar and this and that i don't need fruit snacks and then i'm home and i'm like i need fruit snacks i need sugar because i'm just sitting here i i all i have is fish and actual food and I don't want to eat a bunch of Cliff Bars all day. And it's just like, wow, I'm dumb. So next time I shop, if I want sugar, I'm getting sugar. I forgot to look for ice cream. I didn't even think of it the last time I went. So that was just, I totally forgot. But I actively was like, I don't need fruit snacks. I don't need to buy this. I don't need, you know, I don't need these sugary things. I do need them. I need that stuff to mentally survive because I just, I need my sweets. I have a huge sweet tooth and I'm just like, it drives me crazy. It drives, I'm going insane not having just like, I just need something sugary, some, something ridiculous, something unhealthy. Everything I buy is unhealthy, even when it's organic. But it just, it drives me insane. I'm like, I just need sweets. I need candy. Is CVS 24 hours? I might go to CVS. Anyway, uh, that's Tuesday. I really shouldn't, but that's in my head. I'm pretty sure CVS is 24 hours, and they might have some sour neon gummy worms, which I could really go for right now. I wish I had a Speedway near me. They have those big bags. I would just buy two of the big bags and just be like sour gummy worms and that's it. I, I love that stuff so much. But that is Tuesday. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, actually, I haven't talked about this at all, but tomorrow is the Summer Game Fest. So this will be super old <laughs> by the time you guys see this, of course. But if you're into gaming, of course, I highly recommend you check it out. I have no idea if it's gonna be good, so it could end up being crappy. So sorry if you check it out because of this recommendation and it sucks. That's not on me. I'm just excited. We don't have E3 this year, of course. Um, everyone's hating on Xbox right now, like the Xbox gameplay series. They have a super long title, but there was no gameplay. Not really. It was like for one, two games total. Everything else was just cinematic trailers. Um, so everyone's pissed at them. Sony hasn't done anything. And then we have this Game Fest thing by Jeff Keighley, who is the guy who did like E3, uh, like YouTube's E3 thing. That was Jeff Keighley, of course, the Video Game Awards, which I love the Video Game Awards. So Jeff Keighley um was like all right well let's figure this out he probably already had this plan because he mentioned he wasn't going to be at e3 this year so this was probably already a thing and then it probably switched up because of the virus and it was like okay well we're not doing e3 let's switch some things around because now we can get everybody because nobody's doing anything um and xbox is doing something crappy so they can get everybody in and we'll see what happens but that's supposed to premiere tomorrow at 11 a.m eastern which i'm very excited for so that's like the one i might go into journalism mode because e3 is the one time a year where i'm like full journalism mode i take notes i make all my videos i'm like top 10 moments five moments from all the different press conferences i am on that like nobody's business like white on rice as they say although rice comes in many colors but I'm looking forward to that. So that should be fun. I'm hoping it's going to be cool. It's some surprise guest. It's literally a brand new thing. Anybody would be a shock because I'm like, I don't know what to expect. Like the world is crazy right now. Literally any footage that is shown will be like, oh, that's surprising. I shouldn't, I didn't mean to bump that. But I'm looking forward to that. We might get some stuff from Sony. We might get that Ghost of Tsushima. I need to pre-order that now. And, and The Last of Us Part 2. I'm very excited for both those games. But Ghost of Tsushima. And it's, I know it's going to have a photo mode because Sucker Punch has a photo mode in uh, Infamous Second Son, I think is the name, if I'm not mistaken. Um, is it Second Son? Yeah, I think it's Second Son and then the DLC is First Light. Yeah, so Infamous Second Son, they have a photo mode in that, which I don't know if they had that when I actually had, when I first played through the game because I see pictures on it now and I'm like, they wouldn't have added that like five years after the game came out. So I think that always had a photo mode 
and I just didn't know. Maybe I'll look that up because that's the weird thing that I noticed. I was like, I had no idea that game in a photo mode. And then I see pictures and I'm like, they couldn't have just added that within the last few years. That game is super old now. It was basically one of the launch titles. But it would be really interesting if that's a new edition where they're like, oh, let's add photo mode. And like they're just cool like that. So I know Ghost of Tsushima is going to have a photo mode. I cannot wait for that game to have one and come out. And uh, Last of Us Part 2 is going to as well because the Last of Us remake, uh, when they came out on PS4, also had a photo mode, which is why I've been thinking um, I might want to get that game, especially because I can play it for the channel now, and I also can't actually play it using my PS3 because my PS3 is screwed up. So I would have to get it anyway on PS4 in order to actually play it for the channel. So I, I'm still thinking of that. If that kind of comes my way, like the Uncharted Collection for 10 bucks, I might pick it up, like play through the game, also have a cool photo mode just to mess around with it. But I look forward to both those games just as games but then they also have to be games i'm looking forward to because they're both gorgeous in their own separate ways and they're gonna have photo mode so there's a lot to look forward to uh gaming wise this year but we'll see what happens tomorrow it is the summer game fest i believe it's the official title it's either summer game fest or summer gaming fest and i think it's just a game so the summer game fest uh starts tomorrow so i'm looking forward to that i would assume it's on the website it might also technically premiere on youtube but I would say just check out the website, or you can probably, at this point, by the time this comes out, you can probably look it up on YouTube, but the Summer Game Fest is check, you know, not checking out, it's coming out tomorrow, so check that out when you get a chance, if you're interested in gaming. Uh, that is Tuesday, I'm gonna get myself some blended fruit smoothies, and, you know, soak in the sadness of not having some delicious hot wings. I really want some hot wings. I want that mango, mango habanero so bad, and I might have to do it Thursday. I, I know if I get them Thursday, Later in this freaking video, you're going to see me complaining again. Because if they come out crappy, like, I'm going to have to do I already know now. I have to get them because I didn't get them. And they've been on my mind. It was on my mind yesterday to get them today. And now I have to get them because otherwise I'll suffer for a whole week. And I can't handle that because I don't even have sugar. So I have to have either my sugar, my spice. Technically, I have my sour because of the strawberry lemonade. And I have a bunch of lemons if I want to eat them. So I have my sour. I don't have my sweet. And I don't have my spicy. And I got to have my spicy. Spicy is number one. Like, spicy then sour, then sweet. So I got to have my spice. I'm probably going to get them Thursday and I, I'm probably going to be sad. I'm probably going to be upset with them. Like, how do you not, it's like, it's half a freaking half. It's a boneless nugget. You just throw it in a bowl of sauce and you shake it and then it's sauced. Like, I just don't understand how they came out so dry that last time. I'm going to go get some fruit and I'm going to relax. So I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> everybody welcome to th thursday yeah i didn't film yesterday also uh sorry for the audio i'm sure it's terrible but i am currently this is my bathroom actually so this is my this is my shower curtain my super nerdy pokemon shower curtain um a couple of things to discuss of course didn't film yesterday um nothing happened not not much really happened except for like one thing which is important as to why i'm in here i wouldn't normally film in here but it fits as to the main reason I'm in here. So I will discuss the Star Wars stuff after, because you can obviously see it. I'll show you guys the back as well. But the main reason we are in here, you know, with the super awesome Pokemon Shower Curtain that I have, Gyarados. You can't really see Gyarados. It's like just barely Gyarados. And then shiny Gyarados. There's a bunch of Magikarp at the bottom here, and the wave is the, uh, the Japanese Great Wave painting. You've seen it a trillion times. People love to use that because it's a great painting. Um, so I saw this online years ago. I actually had this in my last apartment and I wish I could remember the website. So sorry. It's something with a six and that's all I got. That's also how I have my bath mats. Um, I wish I had my super uh, kawaii one because my other one is like the random hot anime girl and it just says uh, darling in Japanese on it and it like, covers up her eyes. She's got like the fake devil horns. Um, so those are like my two shower curtains. Like got my weeaboo style and then my, my casual, more casual, uh, you know, rainbow black skull skeleton deal um but the main reason we are in here tonight is because i got something uh, once again what a shock i bought something else i actually bought something else today i bought two things i'll talk about those in a minute anyway two days ago i bought something online yesterday i had to leave to go get it and it's this this shaking magic heart is like the funniest thing in the world to me uh huge shout out to <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. I just, I love this thing. It's just so funny to me. But huge shout out to uh, Cheap Ass Gamer on Twitter because they put out, you know, follow them. I highly recommend it. They're on both Twitter and Instagram. Um, 
always, you know, random tweets and posts. I don't follow them on Instagram. I followed them on Twitter, but I know they recently made an Instagram uh, account, so you can follow them on there as well. But they put out great posts. So it's like, hey, there are deals on this thing, um, you know, deals like this. So anything you know, kind of nerdy related. And technically, Pokemon did start as a game. Um, so there it is. So they had this on there, and it was like the deal of the day at GameStop. And this thing is normally like 20 bucks or something, which... Personally, I wouldn't pay 20 bucks, but I would pay 12.49, and I'm pretty sure that's what I paid. So I saw it, and I was like, I need to have that thing. I went online, and it was like 12 bucks, and I was like, that is worth the 12 dollars. And I mean, this brings me back to um, I mentioned I was complaining about this. I think it was last week, um, the My Hero thing, where it's like, how cheap can they be? For one, they don't even freaking have it in English and in Japanese. They just have it in Japanese, but they couldn't even include the freaking batteries for the Deku figure. The batteries were included. I pull out the tab, boom, instant shaking magic card. Batteries included. Three AAA batteries, too. You can find AAA batteries anywhere, but they couldn't bother to put in, and like $130 collector's edition, some three tiny effing batteries. So and I'm still waiting for those, so once I do eventually get those in, they're coming in Amazon, so the estimated date, I think technically tomorrow is like the first of the estimated you know, shipping date, so tomorrow to like the 21st or something like that, so... That probably won't be until next week unless they actually get delivered um, within, you know, the next two days. So that might most likely will be in the next vlog. But yeah, I got my, my magic cart, my shaking magic cart. So you can, you know, tap them on the back or, you know, if you just drop them down, it just shakes. So, whoa, crap. Shakes like crazy too. Like it seems so simple when you hold it. But I mean, genuinely, this is just me holding it. And I have to like kind of tilt so it doesn't like fly out of my hands. Like that's how much it flops. So I love this thing. It's freaking amazing. It takes, like I said, I think I'm pretty sure it's three AAA batteries. Just opens up, has a little seam on the bottom here. But just, it, it's just a flopping magic harp. And I was like, that is the stupidest, most beautiful, silliest, funniest looking thing ever. And for 12 bucks, yeah, I'm going to buy that. So got it off the GameStop website, and I freaking love it. So I'm super happy that I got this thing because it's just a great nerdy thing to have. Like, it's over the top, and it's ridiculous. And it's just perfect. It's perfect for everybody because that's that's funny so got that yesterday and i had to show it off um the only reason i didn't yesterday was because why didn't i do it yesterday what was i doing i think i was editing man that is literally all i'm ever doing every time it's something else it, it's editing and i was also insanely sleepy last night like i went to sleep probably around 11 or so probably like close you know more to, closer to midnight um but i was just feeling really tired and i was like i feel like i'll be super low energy and so I decided, you know, like, I'll, I'll just wait. I was like, I'll just wait, because that was really the main thing to talk about. Um, and and that, that really was it. It was mostly, like, the magic art. And that, that was really it. And I always planned on filming in here, because, you know, magic art, Gyarados, it just makes sense. Sadly, the toy does not, you know, evolve into a Gyarados. But I like it. It's a flopping Gyarados, or a flopping magic art, so that's fine. But that was really all that happened yesterday. And, of course, went into the editing process. And that was about it. And I was super sleepy and I went to sleep and then I got up today. And today, quite a few things happened. I woke up once again. Uh, my alarm was the mailman knocking on the door and I was dreaming at the time. So I was like, was that in my dream? Cause like, as soon as I woke up, I was like, was I dreaming that noise or was that real life? And so I was like, I guess I'm about to find out. So I like put a shirt on and some pants and I like opened the door and I was like, oh, got my little package. I didn't know what it was at first. Cause I was like, it looked like, you know, I was like, that's a soft looking package. I was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's my Disney package. Cause I didn't like recognize it. When I first looked out, I just looked out and then I closed the door. Cause I, I think I went back to sleep after that. Um, so I was like, oh crap, it's my Disney package. So I was like, my hoodie's in. So got my 40th anniversary edition of the Empire Strikes Back. My big uh, spirit jersey, as, as they call it. I think I just called it a hoodie, but jersey, hoodie, whatever, sweatshirt. Um, so I love it. I, I like the color design on it. Got it in. Really cool. The back is like the big thing. Empire Strikes Back and Yoda, you know, kind of going down. You can't really see Yoda. I have to like somewhat stand. There we go. That's kind of like my thing of you. I don't want to like, I don't trust my toilet. I'm not going to stand on the top of my toilet. I don't really trust that. So with my weight, there's a lot of density that hides underneath all these nerdy clothing, all this nerdy clothing. So I don't want to stand on my toilet, but Yoda's there. Empire Strikes Back. So I was like, cool, it fits, which is always the best thing. It's also kind of long. It's longer than I expected it to be. Uh, and I'm not like the biggest person. Like if it was a t-shirt, I'd hate it. I hate like the really long t-shirts that like go like to like the bottom of my pockets. I hate that in t-shirts. That's just not my personal style. I like them to be a bit higher. Uh, but when it comes to like a sweatshirt style, I'm like, okay. And it's also not, um, it's not tight 
at the bottom, which is really interesting. So like how it's kind of like fitted like that. It's not like that at the bottom. It's actually loose like a t-shirt. So that's interesting. And maybe that's why it's technically a spirit jersey and not considered like a sweatshirt because it's technically, it doesn't have the elastic at the bottom. It's just loose. So that's interesting, but I love it. I, I think it's really cool. Um, I like the color design. It's funny, like seeing this, I was like, it instantly makes me think of Return of the Jedi because it's like these dark colors. But I was like, that makes sense. Like, you know, you're doing, well, the forest moon of Endor it's a forest and then of course Dagobah is a swamp so it's just a wet forest like that's all it is so I was like no wonder it makes me think of Return of the Jedi it's just a forest you know that's dry versus a forest that's wet and I was like for some reason this makes me think of Endor or once again the forest moon of Endor which I still never learned the name of. I, I never think to look it up on Google and be like what is the actual name of that moon it's just the forest moon it has its own name though um but yeah I thought that was pretty cool so I, I love this thing course love my magic harp and today i bought two more things um one of which i would just let you guys know what it is actually i'll just let you guys know what both of them are because the other stuff that's coming like these two things that i got today are fairly simple the thing that i'm waiting for that i mentioned that i'm like super excited for i'll wait for that because i'm gonna like trust me i'm gonna spend the entire time talking about it so i'm not even gonna bother mentioning what it is that'll just be like one of the surprise things that i bought but today is the 10th anniversary of Alan Wake, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Like, I, I will always find a way to mention that game. I've talked about Control, so you can look that up from, it's like my, my very first Let's Discuss video. Um, I did, you know, like Control is the first game I played for my Let's High channel. It's the same company, it's Remedy. Remedy did Max Payne, Max Payne 2. Of course, they didn't do Max Payne 3, actually. They like gave that to Rockstar and stuff. Um, but they did one and two, Quantum Break. Uh, well, Alan Wake came before Quantum Break, so Max Payne one and two, uh, Alan Wake, Quantum Break, and then Control. I was wondering for a long time, I was like, I wonder if the next game is gonna rhyme, and then Control came out, and I was like, ah, because it was like Wake, Break, and then it was just like, Control came out, and I was like, ah, I thought they might rhyme. I, I wasn't sure, but I was like, maybe? Um, but that didn't happen, and that's fine. But it's the 10th anniversary of a game that I absolutely love. I hope you guys are able to pick it up, because by the time this comes out, it, the deal will probably be over, but for like the next couple of days, it's the 15th, I believe today, if I'm not mistaken it's the 14th so it's the 14th right now and um it's 149 it's less than a dollar it's probably a little more because you know it's taxes on steam and stuff uh, that's where i got it at least but it's on it's on everything you can buy it it's on steam it's on the game uh glg i, I forgot exactly what that even stands for but it's on gog and it's on the uh, epic game store and it's like it's 149 that's the price they have for it so it's the main game and then um it also has two dlc stories and so you get all three of those and excuse me you can also get the collector's edition on steam hopefully like i said this is probably all late anyway and it's not like it's the most expensive it's a 10 year old game so i think it's like 10 dollars anyway admittedly i think it's like 10 bucks um probably like 20 if you get like the collector's edition version because you can still do that on steam and you just get the digital version so that comes with um a digital version of the book which is like 148 pages or 138 pages something like it's over 100 pages and you get the full soundtrack and then they also have some stuff on steam which i don't know if it's exclusive to steam or what the deal is but it's like also extra bonus stuff and it's totally free so that if you happen to get alan wake you get that for free and it has nothing to do with the collector's edition stuff it's just you have alan wake and you can get that and it's like two c not cg uh what the heck am I, digital it's two digital comics i'm like cg comics it's two digital comics that are just like two short stories and i think there's also some more commentary stuff and i love behind the scenes things so it might be stuff that you can only get on steam or maybe the other websites as well just as bonus material and it could be on at this point it's probably online but also the game is like 10 years old so any footage that may or may not have been uploaded you know 10 or so years ago that includes all this bonus footage probably looks way worse on youtube than it would if you happen to get that free footage and just saw it like in its actual you know quality so would recommend it i highly recommend the game it's one of my favorite games ever made I still say it's super underrated. Like it just didn't get the praise it deserves in my personal opinion. It's just that game where I'm like, that's my thing that I will always tell people like, play Alan Wake. If you like horror, it's perfect. If you like just writing, like storytelling in general, Remedy does it well. Like that's just how it goes. And Alan Wake is a prime example of that. So check out Alan Wake. It's been 10 years. So I put a silly nerdy post about that, but I love that. And I bought the game on Steam. I have it on 360, but I was like, you know what? I'll buy it on Steam. I'll have, you know, I have a buck 50. You know, I was like, I'll do that. I'll get the free detail stuff or whatever, and I can check that out on my own. But I was like, I love the game. I would love to play it on the channel for my high gaming channel. So it's perfect. I was like, it's a buck 50. I'll totally do it because I would much rather just do it 
from my freaking PC than have to deal with any of the extra crap going through my 360 and having to worry about all the dumb things that Microsoft did where you have to have online in order to play some stuff like I can't I have to figure out what the heck my freaking login is for my Xbox because I cannot play Dead Space with my save files because I downloaded stuff and it's like oh well you're not online so you have to start all over again like you literally cannot load up your game if you are not online so I have to figure out what my login info is which I cannot seem to remember but I was trying to show my friend that like sometime last year because she's like horror is her favorite genre as well and so I was like, you know, she's not in the video games, though. And I was like, okay, if you're in a horror, you're missing out on a whole host of amazing horror moments if you don't play video games. So I was trying to show her Dead Space, and I still could have shown her, but I was trying to do it with, like, all my upgrades because I didn't want to just have, like, no weapons and have, like, level one stuff and keep dying because, I, you know, it had been, like, who knows how many years since I played the first Dead Space. So I was trying to freaking load up this thing and be like, what is my freaking login info? I just want to be able to load my game. I beat the game like a million times. I had like all the unlockables and everything. I'm like, all I want to do is just have my stuff so I can just have my weapons. And like, it's still scary, especially because she'd never seen it. For me, it's like, you know, it would probably still be scary because it's been so long. But I'm like, I just want to kind of shoot up the Necromorphs. She's the one who'll freak out. Like, no matter what, it'll freak her out because she hasn't seen them come out or anything like that. It'll still mess with her. But for me, I was like, I still want to enjoy playing it. Otherwise, I'm just trapped with my little plasma cutter, you know, level one. So I was like... It just sucked, and and that's just how Microsoft is. Like, I also have Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game, on Xbox. I can't play it unless I'm online because of some of the stupid Microsoft stuff they have. So I have to be logged in just to play games, which I bought the game, but it's not downloaded to the actual console. Stupid stuff like that, which I, I really hate. So I have to figure that out. But same thing goes. I'm sure the exact same thing would happen. I wouldn't be able to play the DLC episodes for Alan Wake. So I was super happy with that. I was like, it's a buck 50. It's one of my favorite games of all time um one of the best stories written i would personally say like in any medium genuinely i just think the way it's told and it it would be harder to tell that in just a show i think it could totally be done because the way they write it is literally like episodes so it could definitely be done but a part of the experience is definitely traveling yourself and hearing the inner monologue of the character because you go through all these minute moments and if it was in a TV show, it would have to be more succinct because it can't be like, oh, I saw that thing way in the distance and then in real time, you know, as you're watching the show, you see a character go through, you know, like a minute of just walking and contemplating. Like you could do that in some, you know, it's very Twin Peaks-esque. So it works. It, it definitely has uh, its quirks and it, it definitely um, could work in sort of the... Uh, live action realm for sure and they have shorts that actually I might have like the I might have all of them I think it, they had short I think they were all free actually but I remember downloading some shorts for Alan Wake and it was like episodes that were prequels to the game and they had like the live action actor of Alan Wake and it was something else I, I don't think it was, I think it was before he got to the city with his wife and everything so it was like just some other weird stuff that was happening and I was like this is really cool and it was all live action I was like I love this so you know, Remedy likes to do their writing and their live action stuff. If you play Quantum Break, you know, and if you haven't, they have a whole live action component uh, to that game. So, 10 years of Alan Wake, love the game, highly recommend it, even if it's not $1.50 right now. I still think you should pick it up if you haven't checked it out. That's someone peeing, they just peed and now they're flushing. Fantastic. This is content. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that was really great. So, I was super happy to get that and I'll be playing that at some point. I still have to figure out uh, how I'm gonna kind of get my schedule going up again like I've been I was just sleepy yesterday so I didn't record and I should have recorded tonight um, but I didn't once again super sleepy and I think that might be my heat content but that's mostly it but other than the Alan Wake thing um, I bought uh, I bought Alan Wake the collector's edition I was looking at it like a week or two ago because I think I saw the post like oh you know 10th anniversary is coming up and I was like I would love that collector's edition because it comes with an actual, you know, the 138 page book. It, you know, the physical version would be way cooler and I could put that with my actual comics and stuff, which I plan on doing. And the casing for it is actually like a giant book. I'll be right back because I actually have to cut this off. So I'll be right back. All right. So turned off the heat. Also, I decided to just pick up Alan Wake since I was talking about it. But I, like I said, I bought the collector's edition for this and the casing for the collector's edition is basically a large book because the big thing about the game is that Alan Wake himself, this guy right here, is actually a writer. So like that's his whole thing. He's a, no he's a novelist and he's trying to, he's having, you know, huge writer's block. So he and his wife go to this village called, uh, I don't know why, excuse me, calling it a village, but 
it's a town. It's called Bright Springs, and they have um, they have this amazing show called uh, Night Falls, and I love it. It's basically their version of the Twilight Zone, and you can like find episodes as like collectibles within the show, and you can actually watch the TV show. So I love that element in the game, and it's really funny. They have this <laughs> one moment. Uh, it was a big thing when the game came out because uh, one of the things for Alan Wake is that they had um, they had a partnership with two companies, like real life companies. So in the game, you use the flat. Well, it's in the front here, but the flashlight. You can't see that because the reflection. This flashlight right there, that one right there. That's how you show stuff. The flashlight is how you basically fight against enemies. They're sh covered in the darkness, so you you know shine a light on them, break the darkness, then you can attack them. But in order to you know, of course recharge flashlight or camera and mini games and things like that you need batteries the batteries in this game are genuine energy no not energizer duracell they are actual duracell batteries like legit it's duracell you pick up a battery and you inspect it duracell battery um they also had a conjunction with verizon and there is a level in the game and you get an achievement for this no joke and i'm going to do it if they i don't know if legally they may have had to redo that when they re-release the game but it's probably still in there so I, and I'm hoping it is because I always it was always one of the funniest things and people make jokes about it but you know they needed the money and they, you know it was just a thing that happened. The Duracell thing was just like okay you pick up Duracell batteries that's interesting they're actual Duracell batteries. The Verizon thing though there's an ad it's literally a Verizon TV ad which you don't see those anymore because they used to exist and they don't anymore. Verizon does not have ads. It's a Verizon TV ad and you can stop in the middle of this level and watch the entire ad on TV. And if you watch the ad that plays on the TV, the Verizon TV ad, it goes off and it's like, bing, you get like a five point achievement or whatever. And it's just one of the funniest moments in game where I'm like, this is one of my favorite games of all time. And that's just something that, that just sticks out. It's like, it was a Verizon TV ad. It was a full ad. It's like a minute long ad. And you can just stand there and you just look up. All the TVs are like hanging and stuff. Um, and you just look up at the TV and it's like, okay, Verizon TV ad, you know, Verizon Mobile. So that's an interesting little thing about Alan Wake here. It has some some real life stuff in there. So it's really interesting. But love Alan Wake. Like I said, highly recommend you pick it up. Um, of course, when the collector's edition does get in, I will, of course, be showing that off. Uh, I thought about this the other day. I was like, man, actually, no, I thought about it today. I thought about it, I think, yesterday and today because I've been looking at so much stuff. I was like, when this quarantine ends, I'm going to do a full video that's just like literally every single thing I bought during quarantine because there is a lot and it's all nerd stuff like obviously i won't be like here's the food i bought maybe like all the nerd things that i looked up and bought specifically because i was in quarantine because i wouldn't have bought i probably wouldn't have even had the money because i'm saving a buttload of money not having to drive that's the main thing because i have to take the freeway all the time to go to work and it's like a 30 minute drive most likely longer coming back because you know you leave during rush hour it probably takes more than just 30 quick minutes but 30 minutes on the freeway is still a buttload of gas. The gas ain't really that cheap. So, uh, well, I mean, obviously it is now, but um, it wasn't. And I realized that was my number one thing. I was like, wow, gas sucks. Like gas is the number one thing that takes my money. And of course, I spent a buttload of money. I mentioned this before, tons of money on like fast food and stuff, which um, a couple more things to talk about that specifically happened today. But um fast food and gas number one being gas because i wouldn't get fast food all the time i probably get gas way more i probably have to get gas at least twice a week and like legitimately like fill up on gas like twice a week so i, I realized like that's been the big thing like holy crap it was gas it's gas more than anything and that's what really makes me mad about having to as much as i love my new apartment compared to my old one um i'm it really sucks that i had to move because my old apartment was genuinely 15 minutes from work it was like the best thing ever like it, it you save I mean, think of how much gas you save being 15 minutes from your job. And I don't go anywhere. I'm a nerd. I stay at home. I go to work. I go to buy games. And I go to the movies to watch the movies. That's it. And then I visit family sporadically. So I was saving a ton of money. And then it was like once I had to move because of my mold issue, which one of these days, I will actually talk about that story. I'll just make the full video. Um, but being forced to move because of a mold issue... I had to move and it was like, I have to find a place quick and I wasn't going to pay the same amount for a smaller place or pay more for a smaller place, which was definitely an option. So I was like, I might as well, if I have to pay more, which seemed like the more likely option or lose like basically 200, almost 200 square feet. I was like, I might as well just pay more and get more, you know, square footage. And it really sucked. Cause I was like, man, I got a raise after I moved and I was just like, God, I'd be saving so much money compared to 
how things are now because I have to pay more for this place. But I had to do it. Like I, I had to be somewhere because I wasn't going to stay and die, cause, which was possible with the mold. There's a lot of mold. So I had to move and it just cost me more money. And then, of course, it cost more money to drive even further. So it's just like, man, sometimes things just blow. But with, you know, not having to drive around, saving a lot more money. And that's mainly the reason I'm able to afford all my nerd stuff is really because, well, for one, I'm very fortunate for the fact that my job still pays me, even though I'm not actually working. So that's, yeah, that's fantastic. Um, and two, the fact that I don't really spend money on fast food, although I did today. It's Thursday. Uh, we talked about this. Um, which is great because the fact that I skipped over Wednesday, it's very appropriate. I was craving it Monday. I had to do it today. I got Buffalo Wild Wings, but you know, I've been saving money because I've been here ultimately, but I had to get that Buffalo Wild Wings. So I did that. Also, I actually got Arby's yesterday when I went to pick up Magikarp, the GameStop I was at, I was in the car. So I'm like, boom, or no, I was like, boom, click. I looked up and Arby's was just right there. And I was like, hmm. And I sat for like a minute straight and I was just thinking like, ah, I haven't really eaten. I could eat, I'm pretty hungry. I would love a Jamocha shake. And I was like, you know, Wendy's, I would love to get some Wendy's, but I'd have to like loop around to get Wendy's and stuff. And Arby's is just, boom, I can swerve this right over there. So I ended up uh, getting Arby's yesterday. It was delicious. That, that Arby's, I feel like they have better fries. It was just the, whatever they did, the way they cooked their fries just tastes better than the one that's close by me. And I was just like, wow, these fries, like for some, it was, it was worlds apart. I was like, these fries are amazing. So I was just like, this is weird. These fries taste phenomenal. So I was happy I did that. So I, I got fast food yesterday and I was thinking, I was like, I shouldn't do it because I know I'm going to get, like, I knew I was going to get Buffalo Wild Wings. I knew it. But I was just like, oh, it's right there. It's right there. And I was weak and I did it. So I did that yesterday. Um, I got Buffalo Wild Wings. I, I you know, I, I subjugated myself to the fear of unsauced boneless wings. However, um, I kind of splurged real crazy. And instead of just getting like, oh, let me get a buy one, get one and you know, buy 10 wings, get 10 wings. I was like, well, let me buy 20 wings and also get 20 wings. So I got 40 boneless wings and they sauced them up. You don't have a choice. When you have to put 40 in there, you have to do it right. So they did it right and everything was sauced very well. So I got my 20 delicious mango habanero, my 20 delicious wild. When I got them, took the plastic lid off the bucket, put my garlic parmesan sauce in there on the wild, shook them around. I was like, Perfect. So then I, you know, I kind of picked them out. I got like seven a piece. I was going to do like five and just do like, you know, 10 full wings. I was like, eh, let's do a little more. So I got 14 total and then I put the rest in. So I'll eat those tomorrow. But they were good. And then as I was doing that, I had an amazing time with Ghost of Tsushima, which I highly recommend uh, you check out or Ghost of Tsushima. I, for some reason, for the longest time, I thought it was ghosts. I thought it was plural. It's just Ghost of Tsushima. I had always been calling it Ghost of Tsushima. Um, or Tsushima is, is what they said in the actual thing. So that's what I have to call it. But I always thought it was plural. It is singular, but I loved it. They did like an 18 minute, 20 minute, uh, gameplay demo. And it, it was freaking amazing. Like it was, it was like every little thing was like, here's how you can go from point A to point B. You can use the wind. So you know what direction. So like, instead of like just looking down or like an arrow points, the wind will literally blow. And it's like, oh, that's the direction I'm going. If you set a marker and you're like, oh, I turned around cause I, you know, did some random thing. You hit the thing and you know, like some of the scenes he would throw like a leaf up and whatever direction the leaf would blow in, that's where you go. And I was like, that's really cool. That's a cinematic way to do that. So I love that. Obviously the visuals are freaking insane. Uh, also, Unreal 5, that, that's what happened yesterday. So the Summer Game Fest has officially begun. Unreal Engine 5, crazy. <laughs> it, just, it just looks good. Like, it's crazy. So I can't wait to see more of that. But that was awesome. And then today, uh, it had nothing to do. It was actually the Sony State of Play thing. And Ghost of Tsushima was just freaking great. Like, that's my number one game for the year that I am excited for. Obviously, you know, Samurai and all that good stuff. So I'm like... I just can't wait for that game. And it was great. They show a traversal. They're like, yeah, if you follow, like randomly birds will show up and stuff and they'll lead you to random little plot points or, you know, secret little areas. You can follow foxes and they'll lead you to secret shrines. Um, they're like, you know, how do we make exploration uh, organic? And so it's like, you know, there are fires and stuff. And so you can just see dynamic things in the world. And it's like, that's what makes you want to explore. Like, oh, there's a really dark fire over there. So that's probably, that was probably like a story element but they went to like just a little fire that you saw and it was a village taken over by Mongols. And that was super cool. And then they showed like the samurai duel stance where you can face off against an opponent. And he was, they did like the samurai style where he just hit, you know, it was a one hit kill. And I was like, 
oh, that looks so good. And then they showed him in like his ghost form where he was like kind of a ninja instead of, you know, more, more of a ninja than a samurai. And so you use like techniques and, you know, tactics, like you throw little smoke bombs down or you throw firecrackers to distract people. You throw kunai. He had like a three kill thing where he would like hold three kunai and just launch him out and it killed like three people at once. That was super cool. They showed him to do the grapple hook swing. All of that was fantastic. And then they had an entire segment. I even made a meme about it. They made an entire segment dedicated to what their photo mode could do. And I was like, okay, well, that's all that matters now. <laughs> so it, it looks great. I won't go into all the details. I highly recommend it if you have not seen it. If you are like just thinking about it and you still haven't, you just happen to kind of miss that when it came up in the news, please check that out. Like it will, it will, it will either convince you like this is the game you're looking for or it's not. Like I think that's enough footage to be like, it's 18 minutes long and it shows different stuff. Uh, they talked about the Japanese voice cast, which I thought was pretty cool. And they talked about, um, it was like a, just a cinematic mode. So it was like Seven Samurai style. So it was just a black and white movie. And I was like, that's pretty cool. That honestly, I was like, if I like the game enough, that genuinely might make me play the game a second time. And I might genuinely just play it all in black and white. And I might even do black and white in Japanese and be like, this basically is Seven Samurai, which is a fantastic film. One of my favorite movies of all time, Akira Kurosawa. Highly recommend it. So good. So freaking good. Um, everybody copies that like Magnificent Seven that's why we have that uh, great movie that's not it's not Seven Samurai but it's like the closest actual Japanese remake of Seven Samurai 13 Assassins I think is the closest we've ever gotten to a Seven Samurai remake not counting Samurai 7 which is an actual anime inspired by Seven Samurai also done by the same person but it's more like mecha inspired it's an anime so it's anime samurai versus mecha and stuff like that so that is technically a remake reimagining more than a remake but 13 assassins is closer to a remake because it's yeah it's, it's more real life than it is you know anime and there's no max in that it's just people fighting people um both of those i highly recommend samurai 7 really good 13 assassins fantastic seven samurai literally one of the most iconic films ever made on planet earth it's a great movie it is a black and white japanese film that's like almost four hours long i loved it i watched it twice i should buy it because it's that good um, I recommend it. Just saying. Um, uh, but yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. I cannot wait for that. So Ghost of Tsushima, Sush Ghost of Tsushima <laughs> is great. Looking forward to that. Um, whatever else happens with Summer Game Fest, I'm looking forward to that. We're supposed to be having demos. That is the thing I'm most excited for because I'm like, what does that mean? What demos are we going to get? They mentioned some stuff, uh, because Jeff Keighley did like a Q&A today. And he did like the little intros like, oh, you know, this and that. And then it was like playable demos. And one of the specific game they showed after they used that specific tag was um, the new Avengers game coming out. And I was like, hmm, that could have just been a random thing. They just showed whatever random game. But it could also mean that that is one of the games we're going to get demos for, which I think it needs. That's one of those games that's like right in the middle. I'm like, I'm not excited for that, but I would love to play it. It seems like the story is going to be great. I would love a Dark Avengers, not actually Dark Avengers because that's a real thing, but a darker Avengers story because it seems interesting. The Avengers have been betrayed. Everyone hates them. They've been like cast out by society. That's a cool Avengers story. I would love that story, but I'm hoping the gameplay lives up to the story because I think the story, just the concept of that, I'm like, that sounds pretty good to me. I, I like that idea. So I want to see it play out. I just hope it ends up being good gameplay wise because I want to know that story. It just sounds like it's a good story that we don't, you know, at least in the masses. Like you can get that if you read comics. Uh, a great story that I love that I read when I was in uh, high school. I wish I could remember the name. I think it's, um, is it the Ultimates? It's one of those sorts of stories. Like, it was back during, like, the Cartoon Network time where all the Marvel movies, all those cartoon Marvel movies kept showing up on Cartoon Network. It was in that era, and it was one of those types of books. And it was fairly mature. Like, people were, at, like, Iron Man and Wasp were having sex with each other, and then there's, like, some crazy alternate future stuff where they had to, like, it was, ins it was actually an insane story. Like, that should honestly become a movie. Like, that story in that book is so good. I don't know if I even have that book anymore, but I think it's called The Ultimates. I know that's a thing, so that that's probably one of the 8 trillion Avengers things I've seen that's just the Ultimates, because that's even a comic line, so it probably wasn't, but I remember that novel, and I was like, this is really good, like, I love that story, and I would love for that story to become a, an, an actual um, film, or maybe even a TV show, that would be good as a show, I think, because they could really flesh it out, but I think this is a good dark story, and I, I would hope that the gameplay kind of sticks to it. Well, we just kind of have to wait and see. So I hope it gets a demo, and I hope it's pretty good. They have customization, which seems cool. Um, I'm still curious about this online component that they have where you can 
to have people play like the same level with you online but if you play it separately it's a, like a different story kind of like dead space 3 style where if it's co-op technically a few little things change but if it's single player it's slightly different as well so we'll see what happens I, i'm hoping that game does well i just hope all game, i hope all random nerdy creative things always go well but i like the avengers and not just because the movies i you know i grew up on the cartoons and I, i've read some of the comics i like the comic stories i would like this to be a good one because it seems like a good dark story so i hope it works but we shall see and i hope you know that's one of the demos but either way if it's something i'm excited for i'm gonna play the demo so it doesn't really matter but summer game fest so far even though it's been like one actual announcement it was pretty sick like the unreal engine 5 was insane like it just wow that looks so good and i actually need to rewatch it on my tv because i watched it on youtube but i was like i think my tv would process it better in 4k so i need to actually watch it like on my tv like go on my youtube app on tv and watch it in 4k because i think it'll look even better but looks really good ghost of Tsushima looks fantastic love my little magic harp love my spirit jersey as they like to call it and uh, I pre-ordered Scoob. I am going to be watching Scooby-Doo tomorrow. I'm very excited for that. I'll be totally honest. Nothing else I don't think I would have bought. Well, admittedly, if they did actually do the home stuff for, um, like, Wonder... If they did the other, if they did the comic book movies, I probably would have bought those. I would have done Black Widow, because I, I want to see Black Widow. I There have been some theories going around where people are saying, like, they might be doing some stuff that's going to lead into, like, the next phase, even though this is, like, an integral they're like, they might do some stuff that kind of hits us with a twist. And I was like, hmm. I saw, like, Game Theory did one. And I was like, oh, that actually makes a ton of sense. And I hope they do it. Because, like, that theory he had, I was like, that's really good. And that is one of my favorite comic book storylines. And it's one of the best out there, Red Hulk. Whew. If they do that, that would be amazing. So we'll see what happens with that. I would love to see that happen if he was right. I hope he is. But sadly, you know, we'll have to wait a little while for that. Because they aren't putting that on video on demand. They certainly aren't putting it on Disney+. Plus um which i would love I'm, you know slightly freer but that sadly that won't happen but tomorrow scoob so i'm looking forward to that probably gonna eat my hot wing i'm probably gonna wake up eat some cereal it'll be like a saturday morning style i'm gonna wake up and be like oh it's out i'm watching scoob in the morning i'm gonna eat some rice krispies so that might be how it goes who knows but that is it for tonight um no i actually feel good doing it. i was tired before doing this and i was like oh, i don't want to be super sleepy but it actually energizes me because i didn't do it yesterday so i'm like oh man i actually did something that i felt creative spirit freaking magic card. that is ridiculous but i love this thing so i will see you guys oh crap I, <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow um i would not have magic card but uh i will see you guys tomorrow it is friday everybody or just for a lot of people who are in quarantine now it's just someday who uh, who the f knows but uh eventful day I actually went outside today. I went to the dispensary. I stocked up because I had no edibles. Uh, I ate the last one yesterday, and it was only like a half. But I did that, and um, I didn't film anything. I, w I was thinking about it, but I was like, ah, I'll just eat. I was like, I'll just do it tomorrow. I'm going to kind of stock up and stuff, and then I'll do it. I still don't know if I'm actually going to film after this. Like, it's only 10 o'clock now. It's 10 something. Oh, it's only 10 10. Um, oddly enough, that's Naruto's birthday. Super random nerd fact. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I will because I have a, a pretty bad headache. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I was up super late for things out of my control. Um, it was just like I wanted to sleep, but it didn't really happen. So I had my edible, but I was still just up for a while. And um, so I stopped up today, went up to my, my little spot, the patient station in Ypsilanti, and that was pretty much it. I did that. I saw Scoob today. I, I did download the movie. Uh, initially, I realized I pre-ordered it. The pre-order was to purchase it, not to rent it, so it was like 25 bucks. And then I realized that, um, actually, I realized that whatever I have on my TV is not, like, my account. I think it was on my mom's account. It was on the TV, so when I tried to, like, go to it and, like, watch it, it didn't work. And I was like, well, what's going on? And then that's when I realized, I was like, oh, I can cancel this thing before I, you know, switch. So I canceled it, got, you know, made sure I didn't waste $24, and then instead, I think it was like, I think it was still basically like 20 bucks or something. It was like 12 or something. I forgot what it was, to be totally honest. But I rented it. And so you get 48 hours when you do that. Like once you start it, that's when the clock starts. So you have like 48 hours to uh, finish it. I like the movie. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, so I did my review on that. You guys can check it out if you're interested. Of course, I wore my Scooby-Doo shirt, which is also appropriate for going to stock up on all my edibles. Um, and that was pretty much it. Like that happened. Uh, this came in. This was my wake-up call. So I got my little GoPro mouthpiece and it also came with the uh floaty so it was the mouthpiece and floaty combo so that was nice um 
just cleaned these off. It's like this one has actually still got water in it because I had them just sitting. And I took everything out. So that was cool. I was like, all right, nice. And kind of, obviously, I haven't tested it out yet. I just washed it just to kind of show it off for a minute. But got those in. That was my wake up call for the day. And that was pretty much it. I did that. Um, yeah, woke up to that, watched Scoop, went to get edibles, uh, ate some more Buffalo Wild Wings. I watched the first episode of the Mandalorian Gallery thing on Disney Plus, which is pretty cool. And that was really it. That was, that was really most of the day. It was Scoob, review Scoob, and then that was really it. I don't think I, I, I barely remember. Like after watching Scoob, it was, oddly enough, it was already like five o'clock or something. Like, I don't know. I thought I woke up early and I think it was just because I was up late. That's why I have the headache. So it's not like I actually slept a super long time. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like, honestly, I was watching the movie and then I was doing something. I think it was when I was doing the upload. And I was like, okay, watch the movie. I'm pretty sure I didn't take a super long time. It, it must have been longer than I realized between, like, finishing the movie and then actually doing the review. I didn't think it was that long. But I did my review, and then I went to upload, and I happened to check the time. I was like, it's 5 o'clock already. Like, it was already 5. And so, actually, I spent a lot of time online because I went to uh, Weed Maps. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, that's where you find dispensaries and stuff. And because of that, you know, I, I mostly did just to order the stuff online instead of going up there because, of course, it's it's curbside only. You can't go in. So I mostly went on there and I was like, OK, let's see what other dispensaries are actually in the area. Because typically I always go to the patient station. So I was like, all right, let me see what these other places have. If they have any specials going on or anything like that. And so I just ended up doing the patient station because they I have like the little text alert thing. So I knew what their deal of the day was. And that's what I like. I bought like the deal. I was like, just give me all of that, and it's really good. It's the True North Gummies, and they have some really good flavors, especially the, I think it's Electric Watermelon or something like that. Love that. So I got, like, a couple of different flavors. I got, what did I get? I got Green Apple, the Electric Watermelon. I probably got the Strawberry Banana, and then I think I got a fourth flavor as well, if I remember correctly. But I got a bunch of those, stocked up, uh, came back. Sat down. I ate, you know, my Buffalo Wild Wings. I still have some more, so I still have <laughs> hot wings for tomorrow. Very unhealthy uh, track record of days because it's just going to be like spicy, spicy, and spicy. I love it. Taste-wise, my body, you know, fat-wise probably won't really enjoy it, but I'll just have to actually exercise, which I really need to do because I've realized, like, because of my crazy sleep schedule, like, the past couple of nights, I'd say I've really been crazy where I'll end up exercising, like, at nighttime. And so because of that, or I won't even exercise, I'll take a shower at night. And so because of the shower, you know, the night showers, I won't really exercise because it'll be like, it'll be super late. It'll be like one o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, I don't want to exercise for 30 minutes and then be up, you know, even later. And I just end up going to sleep. Like that's really what's been happening. And then if I end up, you know, just going to sleep and not taking a shower, when I wake up in the morning, it's like right when I get up, I it's really when I want to shower but I don't really want to exercise as soon as I get up. I should, because that, that's kind of like, you know, it's really good to exercise as soon as you get up, but I don't do that either. So like the past couple of days, I've been really messing up. Like there was one day where I was actually doing my pull-ups like throughout the day. I was like, I really got to try to balance this out and like do my little pull-ups. And there was another day, um, actually it may have been yesterday where I was initially planning on hopping in the shower um, but I was watching TV and stuff, and so I was exercising, because I was like, all right, I am up late, and I knew that, and so I was just watching TV, and so I actually, I, it was really just jumping jacks, and that was really it, and my calves do actually feel sore, so I was like, okay, you know, it's, something's happening, you know, it's probably not like any muscles beyond, you know, the bottom half of my body, but the jumping jacks, and, you know, I'm just doing this, I didn't realize that was close enough for me to hit, um, but, you know, just doing my jumping jacks, so I was like, okay, my calves, they, they're, they're tender right now, so I was like, something's happening there's there's something going into the exercise that i'm doing it, it it does actually have some value so that's good to know but don't know if i'm gonna exercise tonight um i don't know if i'm even gonna shower because i showered in the morning so i i technically could wait but i also don't like showering in the morning because i like i prefer doing it at night because for one that's what i'm used to because of work i shower at night and then you know i go to sleep and typically i do it like actually i do it like right after i get home from work so typically i would shower around like 6 30 or 7 and then, um, you know, I, I would wait, you know, my 24 hours or whatever. And then I shower like as soon as I get home or typically get home and exercise. And then I shower because it's like I, I feel more, um, I, I don't know, I, I feel better. Uh, that's the best way I can really think to describe it. When I get off of work, it's a lot easier for me to exercise. And I think it's just because of all the moving around. Like I'm walking around, even if I've taken my breaks or whatever, 
I've walked around, I've had to do this, I've had to do that. So it feels different when I get back home and I'm like, all right, I've already been, I just came from work. It's just like, it's almost a part of work. It's like the extra little piece of personal work. And so it feels better compared to now where I'm just sitting around, you know, editing on the computer all day or it, well, actually I haven't recorded a, a video during the day in, I don't know how long, like every single video I've done so far, like gaming wise, they've all been like late at night. They've all been like around now where it's like, I end up filming until like two or something in the morning. And I really want to get away from that. Like I need to switch and just be like, my videos are like in the day and that's just how it is. So that's why I'm kind of thinking I won't film tonight and that'll, probably put me behind it'll probably put me at the three day mark i think which i don't know if i really want that to be my new schedule or anything but right now that's just how it is because i don't really have any videos i had you know episodes one and two of the deadly tower monsters and that's it but i do need to finish that game because my ps plus is up i'm pretty sure in like three days it was like on the 18th and so that was my whole thing i was like i gotta get through this i would love to get through it fast enough and then do my other game but we'll see what happens so I think the plan for now is because my head freaking hurts from not getting enough sleep last night and that's probably just built up and then finally my head started to hurt today really so because of that i'm like i think i'm just gonna i, I might actually exercise since it is technically only like 10 o'clock exercise a bit and then hop in the shower and just go to sleep for tonight and then tomorrow i'll wake up and that'll be what i do because i don't have much to edit like I, I ended up typing up another video i finally decided to like start a script for the resident evil video that i wanted to do because i still have all that footage so i was like i want to do a resident evil 3 video and talk and not really go through all my details about how i don't like this and stuff like that because everybody's done that already and it's you know it's way later i was like i want to do a video where i talk about what i think could work what we can do within the confines of you know what they built into the game already what could they do that could technically work if they just threw it in it wouldn't throw too much stuff around you know like i'm trying to find a way to add content to the game without excuse me without even changing stuff so like the i want to add cutscenes and add maybe not add characters i haven't gone through the whole process yet but i want to add cutscenes and like maybe add new items and stuff but it doesn't change like the concept of the entire game you know it does it's not like a brand new character shows up and then that changes what they do you know it changes like the rest of the story like nope the game will play out as it does and I want to add stuff, you know, that fits within it. So that's what I'm kind of working on now. So I was glad that I officially started that. And I was like, okay, cool. I, ty I even typed up like a couple paragraphs so far. I still have way, <laughs> way more to do because I still have to go through the process of like what I want to add, um, the concept, you know, like the whole concept of my fake story and all that stuff. So I still have a lot of work to do with that, but I was happy I started. So that was pretty much it. You know, that happened. And so I'm thinking I'll just wait. I'll do my gaming videos tomorrow. I'll do them in the afternoon. So I'm not doing them now you know at 10 o'clock and then filming for three hours so that's probably what's going to end up happening um the other big thing that happened which this was kind of funny i didn't realize this until yesterday but it turns out that the batteries for this little thing actually came in on monday didn't get an email didn't get an update i just happened to go on amazon because i was like oh where are those things and so it turned out they came in like on the day that they were supposed to like that very first day i believe was when they came in. So this thing totally works, totally lights up and everything. Looks super cool. I'm gonna turn this off so you guys can actually see it. But that is Deku and like his shoot style. And as you can see, it actually does have quite a bit of light. So I do like that, but it's nice. So there's Deku, there's him lighting up. That's his stance way back there. I think that's really, that's probably gonna be where he's at for now. Um, so I don't know that that's probably where that's probably going to be Deku's spot. I'm not sure yet. I still have to figure out everything with this bookshelf. I still have to figure out what I'm going to do. You know, the GoPro stuff, like it could be here. I just don't know yet. So that might be a spot because that's just where he's been sitting for a while now. Same with all these characters. It's really not anything set up. It's just like, that's just kind of where they are for now. And it would probably be more legit and official, uh, mostly because of this figure right here. So this is Emerald from Ruby, if for any of you guys who don't watch that show. Very, very good show. I highly recommend it. Uh, you can find it for free on Verve, uh, Rooster Teeth. You, you could probably find it. Yeah, you can find like the whole season free because the last season just ended, or the whole series, I mean. So the whole series, you should be able to watch no problem. Uh, the, so the problem with this is, as you guys can see, I've got my figures up here. So this is the collection. These are like the villains, the big bads. 
her weapons don't fit in her hand. I knew that before I bought it because it's all over YouTube. It's like whoever designed this sucks and her freaking hands can't like these these are her signature weapons. You cannot put them in her hand. Like it's it's impossible. So, unless you either shave the item or like you, I don't know, like cut her hand open a bit and stuff like that, you got nothing. Like every review, it's the same thing. Like there is no like, oh, it just happened a bunch. It's across the board, bad design. So that's kind of why that's like that. That's why that's always just been that way. And she's just been like laying there on the side. Um, so that always sucked. So it's like, I wanted to be the official thing. I always wanted that. And I knew I'd have some challenges and I always kind of thought like, maybe I can find some way to do it. And I tried like once. I, I kind of worked on it and I like put a little tiny screwdriver that I have to kind of like try to basically scrape her hands and make them wider so that the pieces fit in. Um, obviously that didn't happen. I didn't work on that too much. <laughs> and then I was like, well, I'm you know scraping the paint inside of her hands. Um, and then that was pretty much it. And then it was just like, okay, well, the, boom, there she goes. She lays there. Even though I could stand her up, it's not like she doesn't stand. I think it was because I was working on it, and then when I stopped, I just laid her down, and I, like, never just put her back up. So, that's just how it's always been. But they might stay up there. These are probably going to stay. I just don't know about this. Um, so, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's going to play out. still have to set all this stuff up. I still have all my figures here. I don't know which ones I'm going to take out and just have, like, posed and sitting around. Like, I'm probably going to use my Cowboy Bebop uh, figure and have, like, Spike sitting up or something like that because he's very posable. So, I'll probably do that for him. Don't know about the other figures. I got like my Mega Man Zero. I got my God of War figures near Automata. Um, I have a Ruby figure actually. What's it? Yeah, I think that's there. Oh, and then of course my uh, my first like big figure that I ever bought was my Sakura Street Fighter figure. Uh, my player. So, yep, player. It's action figure. Sakura from Super Street Fighter Four Arcade Edition. And I love this. I love Sakura. She's like my favorite character in Street Fighter. So, I remember I got this years ago. This was like, this was the first one. It was like, holy crap. And I found it for a decent price, too. So, I was happy with that. Hmm. It's got like little spots on it and stuff. I need to like clean this thing off. It's like dirty. But I remember finding this online and I think, I think I got it for like 50 bucks. I got it for like some insane amount that was like super, super cheap for something that was um, kind of in this realm of a figure. And it was also an older one. So, of course, once everything is old, it's even more expensive because it's harder to find. I think it's actually like super dirty. Yeah, I definitely. I'm gonna like. I'm gonna like wipe this thing down. Like, I'm gonna get like some Clorox wipes. Like it looks like stuff like spilled on this thing. So definitely gonna clean that one off. But found that on eBay and that was super cool. And I actually like looked up the person that was selling it and I found them on uh, Alibaba. And so I was like, okay, I know Alibaba has these things where it's like. It's real iffy. And then I realized, oh, this is the same person selling it. But they were selling it cheaper on Alibaba. That's why I was looking. I was like, ah, I kind of want to get it off of eBay. But Alibaba, is, you know, I think it was like 20 bucks less on Alibaba. And then I realized, I was like, wait a minute. That's the exact same person. They just put different prices, which people do. Um, and I was like, well, I'm going to go for it then. Like, And I got it off Alibaba. And it totally, I was freaking out, of course. Um, but it came in and everything was fine. I was like, sweet. Like, I got like a super great deal because it's normally like 70 bucks. And I think it. Like I said, I probably got it for 40 or 50, or it's probably more than 70. It's probably like, you know, close to 100 if you bought it like at a convention and it was you know, insanely overpriced and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, I was always happy with that. So that was like my first big figure purchase. And then I got my Mega Man X and then it just went from there. I was like, I like to get the typically posable figures. These, I think I mentioned, I got these on like an insane sale. They were all like 15 bucks or something insane. Like, like they were all like cheap. Um, and you know, probably deservedly so uh, for Emerald, which is unfortunate. I love her character, but it's just a bad figure. It's not her fault. It just happens. But yeah, so who knows what the F is going to happen with this shelf. I still have to figure all that crap out. I still have to actually mess around with the GoPro. I mean, I've turned it on a bit, but I haven't like recorded anything or messed with it. I only tested out the gimbal, you know, like that one day. So I really got to like try to get my schedule kind of back to normal. But for now, that is Friday. Scoob was good got more stuff in realized last night i had my freaking batteries in the whole time <laughs> I had them in like the whole week um so that's nice to have that and it's just been there so long i kind of just it's just like it's the same with the pillows like the pillows were like the first thing i think i set up and so this is ruby by the way and that's why you can barely see her and then it goes ruby weiss blake and yang which is ruby team ruby so that's how it is and so i was like okay that's probably automatic because i always have the pillows in my reviews 
And so I was like, all right, maybe I'll just switch all my Ruby reviews over here. I might still do them in my normal spot. Once again, who the F knows? But for now, that's Friday. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But odds are, I'm probably just going to end up filming in the middle of the day instead of waiting until the end of the night. And I might just do that in general. I might just do the middle of the day is when I actually record. And then I just figure it out. You know, like when I have my days in between, just do my schedule like I normally should or just film. I could probably film every day and still edit every day or, you know, still edit every other day. So I'm going to try to get into that and just try not to screw, you know, have a really crappy schedule because it's just been record at night and then stay up until like two or three in the morning. And I don't really like doing that. I prefer to get back on my normal schedule, wake up at a decent time, not have the person, you know, my mailman knocking on my door and that being the reason I wake up, especially on nights when I'm up until like four or something in the morning and, you know it's like up up and down trying to go to sleep so things like that i think might become a little bit easier if i just make my schedule record as if you know it's the hours of the work day so i should probably stick to that because it makes things normal and it might help in a million different ways it might help a trillion different things who knows but i'll be testing it tomorrow as long as my head doesn't hurt if i truly do get enough sleep it'll be fine but i'll let you guys know because i will most likely record before you know i end up doing that unless that item that i was talking about is like super special it's very close so it could come in tomorrow um because it's ebay i don't know if it would get delivered sunday because you know amazon delivers on sunday but you know it would it, ebay is technically you know usps so if it doesn't get in tomorrow it probably won't come in sunday which is very sad so odds are that'll be in the next vlog but if that gets in uh if that's my wake-up call tomorrow and it's that very special item uh, that's the first thing I'm going to do is like record and like that'll be the vlog. It's just going to be me talking about this very, very particular item. But I doubt that'll happen uh, just because of the mail and how things are. It's supposed to be close, but who the F knows? Like they updated it. Um, the person that I talked to, I don't know if I actually mentioned this part. It was one of those things where, you know, it kind of much like the records, but they ended up uh, looking into it because the person like contacted me and everything. And so when they put in that claim, he was like, you know, get in touch with me, you know, kept communication open. And it was like, okay, eventually, um, it said like, you know, uh, it was like investigation case closed or whatever it actually said. And so then all the updates came in. And so, cause it was the same thing as the records. It was like, who knows where it's at or, you know, it has been updated forever. And then once he put in like the information that like, tried to contact them, they did their research and was like, Hey, here you go. Don't freak out. We know where it's at now. So, you know, please please be patient with us so i was like okay it's super close so if it doesn't get in tomorrow which it probably won't unfortunately um it'll definitely be in the next vlog so we shall see um but i should know soon if you know the mail is coming in at the normal time it's it's still usps so we'll see what happens but i will see you guys tomorrow either way all right everybody so it is actually sunday today um i like to think that that means this vlog will actually be a nice acceptable length, but I know that I ramble. So it's probably still over an hour long, even though I've missed two full days as far as my recordings and, you know, just missing days. So yesterday was an interesting day. So the night, the last time I filmed, I actually did end up going to sleep. Like I, I decided, I was like, I'm not going to film because I got my headache. I'm going to go to sleep early, start catching up on my sleep, get myself in a good position. And then instead of that happening, I somehow woke up at six o'clock in the morning, tried to go to sleep early. And then that was like, I mean, I guess technically I did compared to every other time I've gone to sleep. But, you know, it, you've been, you get so far off. It's like even when you catch up, sometimes you still need to catch up for a couple other days. So um, I didn't end up catching up because even though I went to sleep, to I got rid of the headache. So I didn't have any headaches yesterday except for like maybe right before I was going to sleep. But other than that, I was okay, but I was tired like all day. Like I, I basically was just like, oh, cool. I'm up at six, got up. I drank some water because my throat was really dry. I tried to lay down. I knew I had to pee, but it wasn't like bad enough. And I was like, I'm going to have to pee, but I'm going to try to lay down. Cause if, I, you know, it's like, if you go to the bathroom, you try to like stay sleepy. I was like, I already went and got water. I'm like, I'm at, I'm at the very edge of like, you're permanently up. So I was like, I need to just get back in bed and lay down. So I laid down for a minute. Then of course I did get up. I had to pee. And then I laid back down and after that, it was like kind of moving around until maybe 7, 20 something. So I don't think I was even, you know, it wasn't even like an extra full hour of sleep. It was like six something. And then I was moving around. I probably half fell asleep. And then I checked the clock and it was like 7, 23 or something. So I was like, I kind of got an hour in, but still I didn't really get a lot of time. So I, I was just up early in the morning and it was really weird yesterday because I'd sit around and I'd do something. And then I'm like, okay, 
oh, it's like nine o'clock in the morning still because I'm so used to getting up at noon and then a few hours later, it's five o'clock. So it was really weird. Like I was up at seven o'clock in the morning and then I would do something and I would actually do a couple things. And then it's like, well, it's only nine o'clock in the morning. And I was like, that's interesting. And it would have been the perfect day to kind of catch up. I think I'm officially like five days behind now on my Invisible High channel. I haven't uploaded anything because I checked the date. I don't have any videos I haven't recorded. Um, you know, being sleepy or just not recording on a certain day or, you know, thinking I was going to record and then something happens and it just like, you know, throws me off. So I didn't end up doing that, uh, mostly because of the feeling sleepy thing. It was actually the same as doing it at nighttime. I was like, I kind of don't want to do it because if I'm sleepy, you know, being sleepy already and then you get high is like, it doesn't actually add to the value. And plus I was genuinely sleepy and I was like, I don't want to do that. I, but it was like this weird thing. Where I was like, I also don't want to like go straight to sleep or, you know, take a nap or anything because even then, you know, that'll mess me up even worse because instead I could just go to sleep earlier. Um, so I didn't end up filming. I did something, I bought, I, I did a thing, I bought something else because um, that was actually like the beginning of the day. I got up and I made a terrible mistake. That's what I did. I went on YouTube. This is like maybe Tuesday or so. I was on YouTube I watched a random YouTube video where somebody did like a tour of like a room that they had like their collectibles and stuff and I think it was like Star Wars collectibles and I was like that's pretty cool and so of course you get your recommendations and there was one for like um like the you know one of the largest game rooms or whatever and I was like nah I don't really need to watch it and then I think it was probably on Thursday I watched that one video and I was like that's pretty cool. Like, then you know, rich people have all like all these nerdy gaming objects and items all over the place. This dude had like, here's my computer room, my modern room. He had a full on arcade and everything it was insane. And so I was like, well, that's super cool. So of course I ended up in the rabbit hole because I had more recommendations, but I skipped over it. And then, you know, Friday hit, and it was like, hmm, I think I should watch some more. And then Saturday hit, and that's all I did. Like yesterday was just. Like, I, basically the whole day was, like, I'm watching gaming video, gaming, game room tours. That's pretty much all I did. Like, for, I think Friday I started it, and then Saturday I kept going. And it was just, like, all I was doing was just watching a bunch of people who had way more money than I have. Probably ever will. For some, like, for some of these people, like, the stuff they had, I was like, that's probably more money than I'll ever have. And it was just, like, uh, it, it just messed me up. And I was like, hmm. One thing I did notice, I always love, lots of people had Back to the Future stuff, like quite a few of the videos people reference, like, you know, Back to the Future is like my favorite thing, and I was like, super cool, super cool, I like that. A lot of people had um, a bunch of different versions of Resident Evil, so it's like, it's always nice to see the Resident Evil, you know, get some appreciation there. Bunch of people had that GameCube uh, exclusive, like the crazy chainsaw thing, like I saw a couple videos, I was like, man, everybody has that freaking box. So I thought that was just funny because it was, you know, it wouldn't be like on full display. It was always just like they, they're panning past it. No one ever, like, I think one person actually mentioned it, but I saw it a few times and like, you know, they're just panning through like a bunch of things, of course. And then I was just like, there's the box again. Like everyone has that freaking chainsaw. So that was funny. But a lot of people would have like, you know, the Resident Evils and stuff and people would, like stop to mention Resident Evil. And I was like, that's cool because, you know, it's my favorite video game franchise. So it's like my favorite franchises seem to get a lot of representation from the big collectors. So I was like, okay, okay. I'm not, I knew I wasn't alone. I mean, they're giant franchises, but it's always cool. Uh, other thing I noticed, a lot of people had Alan Wake. I was like, really, really cool. Um, they also had the collector's edition, which could just be, I mean, some of the videos I watched was genuinely like people who had like five N64s because they had all the colors. I think that's on the low end. I think, I don't think anyone had, if they only had like two, it was like the two Pokemon ones. But if they had more than two, they had like seven. Like they had like every single color or in all the exclusive versions, five different PS4s. Uh, some people had the PSX and stuff like that. So it was cool. It was definitely cool because some stuff I saw that I didn't even know about. Um, mostly the PSX. I always thought the PSX was actually just an alternate name for the PS1. I did not know that the PSX was legitimately its own console, so I didn't realize that. It plays PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PSP games. It was only sold in Japan, never came to the States, so it's a really rare thing. So I was like, oh, didn't know that that was actually, like, its legit own console. I always thought PSX became, like, a weird replacement name for PS1, because once we got past that, where it was like PS2 and stuff like that, I thought PSX was genuinely like an alternate name for the PlayStation 1. So never knew that. I never realized that because I've definitely heard people say PSX and they were not like referencing a different console and stuff. So I thought that was weird. And when I found that out, I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, also, it looks awesome because it was like the white 
uh, style, so I, I just always love the white looking consoles and everything. Uh, not that I mind my black, con all my consoles are black actually, so like I have like my little black wooden uh, stand and then just all my black consoles are just like blending in and everything because I got the Wii U later, I got the 360 later, uh, PS4, I got the regular version, and then um, what else do I have? I have the Wii U, 360, PS4, and my PS3. So I just have like all the black consoles. I wanted to get, um, as, as far as the PS4 at least, I would have loved to have gotten the white one. I thought the white one looked great, and I also loved the God of War version. I would have loved to have gotten that. But I also already had a PS4, and I don't ever plan on upgrading to a PS4 Pro or anything like that. I would love to, but I just wouldn't pay for it. Like, as much as, as cool as it would look, I'd rather just wait and just save the money and then just be like, I'll just either get, you know, more nerdy stuff or I'll just wait till, you know, get the actual PS5 whenever that officially comes out. And even then, I'll probably get, you know, the slim version because I don't have enough money and I will never, you know, I don't even remember... I don't think I've ever had a console on release date, maybe since the PS2, and it wasn't even release date, but it was that year, and it was, of course, Christmas, um, and I still have that somewhere. It sadly doesn't work. I bought um, the Bouncer, and so I was like, I wanted to play it, and then it didn't work, and I was like, ah, and then I bought a PS2 Slim, and the freaking thing doesn't close, so it technically doesn't work either, so I'm like, cool, 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 cool. But that'll be in my collector's thing whenever I eventually have a room. So that's what happened. I spent all day just watching people with a bunch of money and decades of time just building up, having all these old toys for Ninja Turtles, all these old Transformers things. Um, it, it, just crazy. And so, you know, it was in my head uh, yesterday. Like the first, honestly, it was just like the GoPro thing. It was a long, it did, obviously it wasn't like the entire day. I had to make a decision because I, I knew it was driving me nuts. I was like, I have to do something or I'll just be stuck here. Cause I'm like, I'll be watching these YouTube videos, which are entertaining, but I couldn't like get work done because I'm like, I was stuck on this decision. Like, do I buy this thing? And it was a thing. It's not like, oh, I bought another little thing. I bought like a little trinket. Also, uh, I do remember that. I didn't mention the second thing that I said I was gonna talk about uh, eBay wise, but it was a stars, it was a Resident Evil badge from, uh, it was like an old thing from NerdBlock and they had a stars metallic badge and it was um, it was magnetic. So you don't pin it into your shirt. You like put the magnet under your shirt and it's you know magnetized to you. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get that. Cause I thought that was cool. So I got that and that was the second thing. I don't even remember what the first thing was anymore. Cause I know I mentioned two things and then there's still like that crazy thing. And then this new thing is also crazy. The new thing is probably the most expensive thing I've bought. I think altogether. I think it's the most I've spent on one item. And that's including the GoPro and the gimbal. Not combined, but I think the GoPro was 300 if I'm not mistaken, because it was 100 off. So it, yeah, it was like 299 I think. And then the gimbal, I think, was around there as well. I don't think the gimbal was 400 or I don't, I, Admittedly, I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure the new thing I just got off of eBay is the most expensive thing I got. I'll have to double check some receipts and I will definitely, like I realized like right before I was doing this, I mentioned this before, but the once the quarantine ends and I do like, this is everything I bought, I'm also gonna do a calculation because I'm gonna have to, like you just have to, where it's like, this is exactly how much money I spent and everything I bought. So that'll be in there. Eventually, you know, when this quarantine ends, if it does actually end on the 28th, uh, then probably like the week after I'll be like, okay, this is uh, what I'll do. And of course, I'll have to remember to include my laced records records because those haven't uh, shipped out just yet. So that's unfortunate, but I also kind of figured. But yeah, I bought a thing and I was like, I had to make that decision. I was just like, I, I have to choose if this is gonna happen. And sometimes you just gotta say, sure. You, you know, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just gotta say, F it. And so that's what I did. And I made a crazy purchase. So of course that will be Whenever that ships, or you know, I shouldn't say ships, whenever that actually gets here, because the shipping doesn't actually matter. You could ship the day of, which is what happened with the big thing that I'm currently waiting for, and I really hope that should be here next week. There's a lot of things, admittedly, a bunch of the stuff. I remember now, I mentioned Alan Wake. That was the other thing I talked about. So Alan Wake should be here. Um, the, yeah, I think the badge is shipped already. I think both of those already shipped. So those should definitely be here next week. They definitely should because they've actually had some fairly decent updates. So that's pretty nice. And they're, a lot of the stuff that I got, and there's still a couple other things. I don't think I even mentioned some of the other stuff. I still have like other items outside of those two things that I'm waiting on too. So I got the new thing, those two things, the big thing, 
And, and then I got a fifth thing as well. So I have like five things actually that are gonna be coming in. Today, uh, just before this, I bought a sixth thing, but that one was really simple. I actually bought another battery uh, for my GoPro because apparently, don't know why this happened, but suddenly I went on there to check today and even though it wasn't a thing before, which it happens, um, I was able to get the battery for like five or six bucks off or something like that because they, I don't know, they just put like a little, these weird little tags where it's like essential over the battery and essential over the battery plus the charger. And they were both uh, decreased in price. And I was like, well, that blows because I could have waited and then I could have actually saved some more money. But instead I got like the full price. I paid like 50 bucks for the charger and the spare battery. And I'm really glad that I waited on the battery uh, to get, you know, have three. But I was like, I, I like having at least three batteries. Like even with this one, it's kind of the same thing. I actually have quite a few for this one because of, um, cause I actually lost one of my batteries. And so I only had two at the time. And then I looked for a replacement and I found like this double battery charger that came with two batteries. So I was like, well, I'll just get that. Cause it was basically the same price as just getting a replacement battery. So I was like, well, screw it. I'll just do this and I'll, I'll just stick with these two chargers. So I was like, that's just how it's going to be for now. So I have four batteries because I lost one of the batteries. And if I'm not mistaken, I lost the charger with the battery. I, I think that's what happened. And I think I probably need it another charger so it wasn't just that i lost the battery i lost both things and i don't know where they are i don't know how i lost them or where i could have possibly been because i'm like there's no way i left it in my old apartment because i moved out and it's like you know i mean yeah it's a battery they're tiny but it's like it's a black battery you're gonna see it on anything it's not you know no floor is that dark where like a black battery is gonna blend in unless you have like jet black shack carpeting or something so it's not like I just looked over it and I missed like this tiny little black rectangle or a larger rectangle uh, for my original charger, wherever it may be. Um, so I was like, yeah, I, I'm going to need a new battery. So I lost like one of my original batteries that I had and then I ended up buying that charger. So I got the charger and I got two batteries with it. So I have like four batteries for this one. And I was like, depending on, you know, however crazy things end up getting, if I'm using it, you know, like out swimming or, you know, obviously way in the future, but GoPro wise. Uh, using that thing to go swimming and stuff like that. It's like, I'm going to need multiple batteries and I'm going to need to, you know, kind of figure that stuff out. I also don't know what I would do if I even took one battery out. Like, I don't know if they make uh, waterproof casings for your batteries so you can take them with you. And then once you're out of the water, you can open them up and switch them out anyway. Um, excuse me. So it might just be more for, you know, more practical things like just filming a movie or something. We need an extra shot or whatever, or just to have like a behind the scenes camera even. And we just keep filming over and over and over again. I'd like to have like three batteries and they last for about two hours a piece. Um, and that's typically more than long enough, especially considering I'll have the, you know, I take the charger with me. So it's not like I'm going to take, you know, three batteries and then just be like, I don't need the charger. Like you still take the charger anyway, because that's just the precaution, especially for me, because I will forget even with four batteries on this thing, I've had moments where I'm like, oh, I have to do that video later because I have four batteries at like 12% because I forgot to charge all that time. Four batteries didn't think to charge anything. So Especially for me, I always have to make sure I have my, uh, my battery charger on me. Otherwise, I can definitely end up screwed. So, got myself another battery. Fortunately, it was a little cheaper. Wish I could have done that for the, uh, the battery plus charger combo that I got. Because I think it was like 35 bucks instead of the 50. So, I would have loved that. But, it is what it is. So, I was like, alright, I'm going to pick up a, a, another battery. So, I, I bought that one today. So, that will be coming in soon. You know, I'll get here Maybe not, it, even by the end of the week, I think it should actually be here. Like it tends to be a, a little delayed. Like the um, the mouthpiece I got, I felt took way longer than like the other pieces that I got. So I thought that was interesting. So it's just, it just depends on the volume of like orders and stuff like that. I may have just gotten it during like a, a downtime and I like all my items kind of came in at a decent frame, you know, frame rate. I don't know why I use that term, but that's all I could think. Speed, they came in at a decent speed. <laughs> um, but for some reason with that one, it just seemed like it felt longer. Um, and it could have been the same. It could have been totally the same and I just didn't realize it. But for some reason, it just felt like it took longer. And I, I really don't know why. So it could have been longer. It may not have been longer. It could have even been shorter. But that's just how it felt. I was like, huh, I feel like that one's taking longer. Plus it was one item. So maybe that was another reason I assumed it would kind of come in faster. But it doesn't really matter. They're still just going in the order of who ordered what. So it's not like it makes much of a difference. But um, that, yeah, that was mostly it yesterday. Got trapped. Uh, watching a bunch of people. I found out about this thing called the Megacade. That was a mistake. That was a huge mistake because I was like, that looks amazing. And you get like 
I, I watched like a bunch of people talk about it. It's like you get like eighty thousand games on it. You can choose to have light gun games, which like is basically a part of my arcade like fantasy dream in the future. Is like if I that was always my thing. If I get enough money, I always want to have the Star Wars trilogy arcade. That was always that was like my number one. I have to have the Star Wars trilogy arcade. And then the other one was I always want Time Crisis because I love Time Crisis. So those are like the top two. Time Crisis two specifically, but I'd love to have all of them. Like one through four, I would love to have like all four of those games. Um, and so in this thing, this mega mega arcade, mega arcade, they have a bunch. You, they have movies on there. They have old commercials on there. They have uh, the light gun games. I looked them up. You can actually get the light guns. Uh, you can choose this option. You can have the ones that have like the blowback. I would definitely pay for that because Time Crisis 2, that was the thing. Like, you pull the trigger on the gun when you're playing the game, the chamber, like, actually shoots backwards, so the gun, like, actually has recoil. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. I was like, I've never seen anything like that before in, like, a fake game. Everything else is just, like, it's a plastic full blue gun or a plastic full red gun. Um, that was another thing Time Crisis did. They went pink. They were like, nope, we're not just doing red and blue. We're doing baby blue, sky blue, and bright effing baby pink. And I was like works for me and so it, like, it was always that was another unique thing they always went like really um bright uh, like pastel colors everybody else always does dark red and dark blue it's always the same thing but time crisis was different uh crisis zone which is done by the same people that one's single player but you get like a submachine gun same thing it's it's baby blue uh house of the dead 3 definitely did like a baby blue thing because they had shotguns and their shotguns were like baby blue i would love that I think I may have mentioned that before. Another thing that was like, holy crap, it's not just a handgun. It's like you pump the shotgun to reload, and that's cool. Minute mechanic. And then 4 came out, and 4 was just red machine guns. And I was like, well, this blows because the last one had like cool cocking shotguns, and this is just like classic. You just went back to just pull the trigger, and then you shoot off to the side to reload. And it's like, well, it's not as cool as the last one you guys had, but not, you know, not too much you can really do with the submachine gun. You could just make it vibrate, and that's about it. But. Lots of dreams, lots of dreams with money that, you know, I, I don't currently have, but I can watch people have it on YouTube, tons of stuff. It was really cool. So it, it's cool to see, and you do learn a lot of cool stuff. Being the nerd that I am, I actually like knowing about all the old, you know, consoles and stuff like that. So for me, it's kind of cool, like learning that the PSX was actually a thing. That was pretty cool. Lots of other stuff I knew about, uh, some things I didn't. I found out about the GameCube DVD player thing. I think maybe it was Panasonic, technically. And so it's a GameCube and it's a DVD player at the same time. I thought that was cool. I was like, huh, that's very interesting. So little stuff like that. You learn about all these super rare consoles. There's uh, somehow I didn't know, but like typically, especially if it's modern, I tend to know about it. The 500 million PS4, I literally never heard of that before in my life until I watched like collector videos. And I was like, what is this thing? And I I'd never heard of it. And it's just like, I, what is it? Like a two terabyte or it's like a four, it's something crazy. It's got like a bunch of space on it. And it's, um, it's like this super rare PS4, and it's like kind of clear, I think. And it has like a blue light in the middle of it. Uh, it's a PS4 Pro. So in, in like the middle base, it has like a blue light that goes through. And I was like, I've literally never heard of this thing. Like I've heard about all the other versions. I've seen all the ones related to the games. Um, of course, you know, the, the 20th anniversary version. I forgot the name of it, but the one that has like the gold uh, symbols for like the triangle, circle, square, and X. I remember that one, and I remember considering buying that one because I was like, "It's gonna be rare, but isn't gonna be rare enough?" Because the twentieth anniversary like classic PlayStation edition of the PS4 that was like super rare. And if I had the chance, which I think they have like a weird raffle thing for you to even be able to buy that, so I, I remember that because I was like, "Oh, I couldn't even just naturally buy it if I wanted to anyway." But I think my heat's about to kick on. Yep. Uh, be right back because I, I well do I have much more to talk? I don't have much more to talk about and I should probably end it anyway just to try to have a video that's somehow even though I only recorded like three days or something it's still gonna manage to be two hours long but um, that was pretty much it yesterday I didn't record yesterday either because I was naturally sleepy and now I'm like five days behind I'm still kind of tired even today like I it just sleep sucks right now and it's screwing me over because I'm like I, I do want to record but then I'm also tired and I'm like, when you're tired, like, I, I don't know, something about this is, is a different energy, especially because then you get high. Well, now I'm gonna cut it off because I, I, I still got stuff to say. Now I gotta do it. Okay, so the end of the heat there, hopefully the end of this video. Um, so what I was about to, I totally forgot what I was about to say, but I guess I can just end it now. But either way, that's pretty much the end of the week. Not much happened. The being sleepy thing, um, it just, I, I don't know, it oddly affected me as far as, 
wanting to like get into it, I guess, which makes sense. Like, cause it feels like I'm just doing it as I did at night. So I don't know. I think when I get back to my normal sleep schedule, however, <laughs> I, I'm going to end up doing that if I can just manage to sleep and then not, you know, somehow randomly wake up at six o'clock in the morning. I don't think anything, anything even woke me up. I think it was genuinely just like, I, I think it was just my body is dumb. And this is something that I have noticed in the past. Even if I stay up super late, um, I will still wake up. I'm, t I'm one of the people that will wake up like at the same time. And I think because I've thrown my schedule off so insanely wildly, which I shouldn't have even said both those words together, but that's how crazy it is. It's insanely wildly thrown off. I think because of that, I, that's why I woke up at six. My body was like, oh, okay, we'll just do it now. And just poof, I was up, even though it made no sense to be up. I still didn't have, I think I got like my technical hours, but I'm like, it's not the same, you know? Like, so that's just how it's been the past couple of days. I've just been up way later than I wanted to be, like trying to sleep and then, you know, tossing into it. That's like a classic thing for me, being in bed for like two hours, which I think I probably mentioned this weeks ago. I've had those situations. Uh, same thing, like being in bed. Well, that was a big bump. <laughs> being in bed and then literally being awake in bed for like over an hour trying to just fall asleep. And it's just like, this sucks. So hopefully I can really kind of get myself going. I would love to, like I really, like I realized, like once I thought I should just film during the day and treat it as work, that like changed my whole perspective on it. And then it's like, once I figured out the solution, a new problem came up because I can't get myself in like a normal sleep pattern and actually like fall asleep and wake up at a normal time or whatever is normal these days anyway. But I gotta figure something out, especially because I know eventually I am gonna go back to work. So I really do have to get on the schedule because I feel like I'm in summer school, or not in summer school, I feel like it's summer. Classic thing, spend the whole summer and I will wait until the last week. I will wait until like two, I'll probably wait till the night before to be like, all right, time to go to sleep. And I'll, that's when I'll try to like get my schedule back to normal. Every other night I've been up to like two or three in the morning and then the night before school starts, I'm like, well, it's 10 o'clock time to go as if that's gonna work that's how i am so i i know what i need to do i just need to force my body to do it and, and try to hope and try not to wake up at six o'clock in the morning so that's pretty much where i am um i think i have to record today i think it's like five right now it's so it's four it's about 4 30 it's 4 28 right now and i don't know why my camera my phone turned off even though the thing's recording this seems to be acting super weird lately as far as like not being connected to the camera the way it's supposed to but i'm probably going to record today i restocked which i don't know if i mentioned that before i'm pretty sure i did but i restocked so i actually can and i think that's what i want to do because i want to film and that's really all I got. Nothing else is happening. It's not like I'm watching anything. I realized I should catch up on some of my anime. My Hero, I haven't watched in weeks. Boruto, I haven't watched in like two months. I genuinely, clearly, I'm not re I'm not reviewing that show anymore. Like, I just stopped caring and I, I couldn't, I haven't even gone back to it. I haven't even thought about it. So I think that show's just dead. I, I just can't, I'll just watch it. But I just, it's just not worth talking about. I might do like my favorite episodes or something. It's just like, holy crap, I might review it, but... I don't, I don't think I can even do the monthly thing because it's such a chore watching that show that even when it's only like, let me just do, a, you know, the four episodes, watch them like a little movie and then review them. It's just such a chore because I just feel like I won't love the show. And that's just how it is. And that's really that really sucks because I love Naruto. It's one of my favorites. It was kind of my, you know, deep dive into anime is like when I got, I guess it's like my second coming of anime because, of course, Toonami, Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Shampoo. I watched all those growing up. And then when I was in high school, that's when, you know, Bleach started to roll around. I was still Adult Swim and then Naruto hit in the middle of the day. So then I had like two things. I was like, OK, I found music that I like because I didn't listen to any music until I was like 13. And so I found anime and Guitar Hero at the same time. And I was like, oh, there is music on Earth that's not just black people. Because <laughs> uh, my parents didn't listen to anybody. Like if you weren't black or you weren't singing with a black person, I probably didn't know you. Like, that's just how it was. I knew Eminem. And that's about it. Eminem and Robin Thicke. Because Robin Thicke, I thought was a black dude, and I was wrong. And Eminem, he did rap. So that's about it. And I knew Vanilla Ice. So if you didn't sing with black people, you weren't a black person, or you didn't do something that is commonly attached to other black people, I probably never heard your music until I either 
listen to you know Guitar Hero. That's how I found rock. And then of course you know no one in my family was like listening to Japanese music or anything. But then I found that. So I found like my anime music. I found rock music because of Guitar Hero. Then of course that got me into you know leading. Actually, video games are the reason I got into K-pop because of. Um, Dead Fantasy, like Monty Ohm and the creator of Ruby and everything. So he did a video for Dead Fantasy where it was all the girls dancing to the song G by Girls' Generation. And I was like, this is a catchy song. And then I looked up the video and I liked the video and I liked the song. And then that's how I actually got into K-pop. So it was actually, technically, it was Game Trailers TV, which used to come on Spike TV, is the reason I like K-pop. Because that led me to Dead Fantasy because I was like, well, that looks cool. And then I watched Dead Fantasy 2. And then he put out that G video, and I was like, well, I'll watch this and see what it's about. And I was like, I like that song, and that led me to K-pop. So technically, video games are the reason I got into K-pop. Anime, of course, J-pop, and then rock, you know, Guitar Hero for rock music. So that's how I got into my, my spectrum of music. So there's a random story to kind of cap things off, but there you go. Um, ending to the video, weird week, crazy sleep schedule. I hope that this week going forward is a lot better. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to force my body to be like, sleep at, in, at least 12. Try 12. You know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I have to watch Supergirl uh, and Batwoman tonight. Season finales for both. So I actually, I'm actually looking forward to those. I didn't talk about Flash. I realized uh, all the season finales are the like instant season finales, where it's just like they are ending them as they initially planned, but obviously they didn't get to film more episodes. So I don't know what that means. That's probably why Supernatural didn't come back because it's not a season finale. It's the end of the entire series. And that's probably why they didn't do that because I'm sure that was supposed to, you know, they probably would have brought that back too, but they're like, well, we can't do like a faux series finale. It's literally the end. It's the last two episodes. They genuinely my way. I don't know what they're going to do. Like, it's interesting to think about that because everything else is ending like it was supposed to on their original season finale premiere dates and so they just had to randomly end it the way it was meant to be ended uh unfortunately that sucked for flash because that was like a meh season finale <laughs> and then i realized like it even ends it says like to be continued and then i realized like i went on twitter to see what people thought about it and that's when i found out like oh this wasn't meant to be like the actual season finale that's why it felt so short to me i was like i felt like we just got into this weird mystery thing we were supposed to have way more episodes so this was like you know, sorry, boom, season finale. It's because they stuck with those dates. I always assumed they were going to extend them because I haven't seen anything about premieres except for like Stargirl. And that's the only thing, which I think technically premieres this week, if I'm not mistaken, or I already missed the first episode. So either way, I'll check it out. But I was really shocked by that. And I was like, oh, that's why it felt so fast. It felt like we weren't in like something very serious because we were still building up to like those final, those real final moments. And so they just had to be like, here's you know it was just a normal surprise it was still a surprise ending but it was still just like that surprise ending was still supposed to lead into a solution you know because it was going into the season finale and then it was just like sorry this is what we got to be continued and i was like dang that sucks so that's unfortunate because it, it just where they were in the season it just wasn't impactful enough to be like holy crap but like supergirl had a really good episode the lex luther episode for supergirl was really really good like they showed some cool stuff i was like I love that episode. I was barely paying attention, but I, I knew it was a good episode just from what they did. They were It was from uh, Lex Luthor's perspective from Crisis up to now. And I was like, that's pretty sweet. That was actually a good episode. Uh, Super, or not Supergirl, Batwoman has been really good, honestly. Like, it sucks that they, both those shows have been in, like, terrible ratings. But I was like, man, Batwoman was, like, the last couple of Batwoman episodes have been, like, intense as far as I'm concerned. So I don't know what's going to happen with these, like, super quick season finales. But at the very least, Batwoman's in a pretty nice position because the last episode, I was like, holy crap. And I think tonight is the um, season finale for that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good, good amount of rambling to take up for being behind and missing a bunch of days. And we'll see what happens next week. Well... We'll see what happens this week, I guess. So I will see you guys in the next vlog. Uh, once again, I want to ask you guys what you guys are doing to stay sane. Um, just be safe out there. You know, the usual stuff. Hopefully this will actually be over soon. We'll see what happens because uh, it definitely depends on where you are. Michigan, we're still waiting to get out. But I've been, see I've been watching a lot of the videos where people go out and then it's like just instant crowds. And it's like, oh boy, I don't know if we'll have that specifically here. I'm sure they'll have it in Lansing because that's where all the rallies are. So I'm sure they're kind of screwed. Like everyone will be out full, well, not everyone, but those people will be out full force. So we'll see what happens with all of Michigan, but we still got a, a little ways to go. It, it might actually be the last one. I, it's hard. Thanks for checking this out. 
As always, uh, if you guys have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section below, and I will see you next week.